Hi, everybody. Welcome to tonight's episode of Infinite Horizon. Um, so first things first, uh, according to uh, my... Always me. It's always my fault. Wonderful players. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, uh, to them, they're hearing me much quieter than I normally am. On my end, there are zero settings that I can change to fix that because everything is up as high as it goes. So chat... I'm let me know if this is a if this is like in general a sound issue or if it's just a like my players can't he hear me as loudly issue if it's their problem in which case I don't care. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um <laughs> yeah, cuz I there's there's nothing. I I've looked at every setting and everything is up as high as it'll go. So 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 what I'm hearing is if we don't hear you do something, it doesn't count and we can do whatever we want. Did you say we have you can reroll that? Oh okay, okay, I'll reroll that real quick. <laughs> um John says apparently my my volume is good for him. So it's just it's just a zoom thing, maybe it could be yeah, as possible. Zoom I... is just um who okay. hates Lucas specifically? <laughs> <laughs> that it does. Um, Zoom's haunted, says John. Uh, <laughs> the ghost is in the Zoom. <laughs> so yeah, it's just a it's just a Zoom issue. Um, for the sake of this, because I'm going I'm going to turn off the um, sound sharing on the Zoom call because I am going to be using it, and unfortunately, none of you will know, but the audience will, and yeah, <laughs> that's what matters. Okay, Heart of Henprince says everybody's good. Nat Chester says thank everything's you, good. All right, thank you so much, chat. I yeah. appreciate that. Thank um, you. So that is what has accounted for our late start today. Um, also, just me generally not being prepared and sending, like, typing up the stream info, like, <laughs> at the time we were supposed to be going live. <laughs> but uh, I'm going to blame it on audio issues and not on... It's me always bringing audio issues up that are unfixable. It's always Caitlin. It's always it's you, all... the problem player. It's always me bringing up audio issues that are unfixable. And yeah. that's we've been late multiple times because of that. <laughs> it's, it's always you. It's it's Caitlin's the problem child here. Uh... I also had audio issues, so... Yeah, but yours didn't affect the start time. <laughs> yeah, <it didn't... laughs> I guess the rest of us were just perfect over here. Yeah. Yeah. Waiting. It's really a burden, honestly. It's constantly being this perfect. That's true. Every, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Drac and Olivia were perfect. Odd. Except Olivia did say that she thought Lost was the best show ever. So I don't know. Hey, that'll be a topic of a Ramble Man C at one point. I'm writing it down. <laughs> All right. It'll just be me and Olivia just fighting about Lost. <laughs> It'll, it could probably last about two hours, That's honestly. <laughs> I could have sources. If you give me a little bit of time to prepare, I, oh, I was an English major, you know? We only need an hour and a half plus our usual 10 minutes over time. <laughs> you can debate to me. Wait until, debate until me, Olivia. Be, <laughs> you need to I wait until it's safe to be in person so they can fist fight in the end if necessary. <laughs> yeah, I think I would lose. Okay, that uh, would be great. I would lose. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I probably. <laughs> <laughs> the only fist fight in which both people lose. <laughs> oh. Yeah, for real. Um, this is stalling, so we don't have to. That's true. <laughs> no, we were just waiting. We were just waiting for Gemini Lightning to show up. That's why we're stalling. Yeah, yeah exactly. Hi, <laughs> um, that's why we're stalling. We can get started now. There's nothing to stop us. Ugh, Wait, I, I, I feel like I was going to say anti lost. I'm upset. Hold on, I, I was going to say Caitlin, help me out. I was going to talk about something. I was going to announce. Oh, something. we were going to talk. Up, we were going to talk about how we weren't going to talk. No, 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 about no, 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 something. no. Something else. I swear there was something else, like oh. a different thing. Oh. oh. Yeah. Uh, I, I can talk about the thing that I remember oh, that we said thank we you, wanted John. to talk about. Thank you so much, John. John is on top of Oh, yeah. Of it. Okay, there okay. it is. So, uh, as many of you probably don't know yet, uh, just like Olivia didn't know until Friday, we are actually closing on the end of our first season of Infinite Horizon. Um, that's coming <laughs> soon, TM. Uh, I won't specify a date because things could drastically change in a TTRPG <laughs> campaign and the players could throw me for a loop just anyway, and it could end up being like another several months. It won't be, but, um, <laughs> um, but, um, in order to do that, one of the things we're going to be doing is we're going to be putting together a, uh, a season one recap video, um, that John, Caitlin and I will be working on. And it's sort of similar to those of you who were around for dungeons and dorm rooms. We did like a writer's room recap, uh, mid season to like just sort of, bring people up to speed as to what was happening um because we had sort of a momentous episode at the time but this time we're just going to do it as like a season recap and we'll have that sometime in between seasons 
Uh, but one of the things we'd like to do is we because because there's been a lot of fan art over the course of this whole run. One of the things we'd love to do is if y'all are fan artists out there, we would love to have your some of your art, um, which uh, to kind of put over our recap so that in the background there'll be these lovely fan art depictions of various moments throughout the the season john just put a command in the chat where you can if you're interested you can actually go directly to that link that john just put and there's a google form that you can fill out and yeah so i know we were gonna we said that there's gonna be a deadline on this i don't remember what that deadline is tbd <laughs> tbd but um there'll be an announcement tomorrow on the discord as well so uh keep an eye out for that and in that we will have specific details as to our um our like deadlines and stuff so also to clarify this isn't us asking you to make new art for right, this, this yeah. is just, if you have if you have made art in the past yeah. and you wouldn't mind letting us use it as a backdrop for our mm -hmm. uh, uh yeah. incoming writers room recap we yeah, would we were... adore to feature you and, and thank you for that <laughs> we were joking that with probably just with lemon twists art alone we probably have like a good timeline of <laughs> the whole time yeah. <laughs> yeah. that's what i was thinking <laughs> <laughs> so yeah if you're interested in that um you can fill out the google form and uh yeah, send these send these to us, and we'll put them. We'll make sure to put them in the uh, in the video. Um, the other thing, which John also reminded me, is that we have an announcement. As I as I mentioned on Friday for Ramble Mancy, or maybe it was a different time, some stream recently, that <laughs> there will be things happening in between the seasons of Infinite Horizon, and today, I am happy to announce <laughs> that, that next week. <laughs> We will properly oh, announce God. what those things are. Yeah. <laughs> <Yay>! <laughs> announcement for the announcement. We're announcing that there will be an announcement <laughs> next week. So uh, some stuff needs to be finalized first. Yeah. So once <laughs> but an announcement is coming, mm -hmm. and that's this announcement. <laughs> oh man! Sorry, you have a week guys. to prepare yourself. <laughs> yeah, you have a for week. the announcement. You have a week, and I know you will all be waiting in it with anticipation for that mm -hmm. time. Um, so to hold you over until then. <laughs> we have our regular content that would normally stream regardless of what any announcement. So, um, yeah. <clears throat> okay. Uh, anybody else have anything? That they want? Uh, Drac, I know that you, there something was announced today. Was it that you're going to, yeah, you yeah. got going on soon? Wait, what? Oh, oh, okay. You, I can, announce. Okay, yeah, go for it. Yeah, Absolutely. Yeah. Um, um, on the 20, okay. I guess the 22nd is going to be a busy day for me. I just realized so on the 22nd, <laughs> um, one, I'm gonna be in a Emberwind campaign with a bunch of friends. I'm very excited for that. It's awesome. The art that we've seen is, oh, I love it. <laughs> also on the same day, the details are still being finalized, but um, over on Friends Who Roll Dice, we're gonna be running a charity stream for to raise money for Lebanon, uh, yeah. to raise money for the people who uh, are very drastically affected by the horrifying explosion that happened just over a week ago. Yeah. Um, yeah, we're very much rushing <laughs> to put it all together because it happened so recently and we definitely want to do something for it. So, yeah, yeah, just keep a lookout for that. We've got some interesting guests coming up for that. Awesome. I'm excited. All right. Anybody else have anything that they want to say at the beginning of the stream? I'm terrified. <laughs> <laughs> That's my announcement. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Um, Pam doesn't want to lose his doc um, nurse what buddy. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> you could never. He could never watch that show again. Oh, yeah, he could, he oh. Could, he could he never just watch, watch it again. Remember that. Ouch. He just remember that the loss of his best friend. Oh God. Oh. Oh. Hey. Okay. All let's right. Not, all right. Let's okay. Not jump to conclusions here. <laughs> all right. We're gonna start this episode now. Um, let's jump into tonight's episode, everybody. Yeah. Bye. <laughs>
and we're How's back. She's still crying. Like, <laughs> she's still yeah. crying. Just, she's just sobbing yeah. when we came back. <laughs> <laughs> um. All right, welcome back, everybody. Um, so jumping into tonight's episode, uh, <laughs> I know I all the looks I'm getting here. Um, previously on Infinite Horizon, um, there was. A totally flawless, foolproof plan uh, that went off without a hitch. No, uh, the, mm-hmm. the no, crew, that's true. The crew, I like that. I like that story. Let's just keep. Let's play that one. The beach now. That's, that's how I remembered it. We saved everyone. We t- we're taking everyone in the pause, and we're all going to the beach. Yeah, mm-hmm. but in this timeline, um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, the crew of Awakener enacted their plan to rescue not only Abriel's sister, uh, who had been held by the corpse and leveraged against her. Uh, but also a whole shipload of powered individuals, much like they themselves uh, were when they were mm, awakened on aboard the uh, Silver Break cruiser at the very beginning of the campaign. Um, the group promptly split up, <laughs> uh, went their set, went in their separate. Uh, there's separate ways to go and access different parts of the ship to enact parts of the plan, with Bina and Taeon making their way towards the engines to disable the ship's propulsion system so that it couldn't go anywhere. Uh, Jade and Becker, who went to uh, plant uh, Wire's brush fire protocol, which would effectively uh, send all kinds of system errors throughout the ship one after the other. Whenever one was fixed, another one would pop up causing them to have to reboot all the ship's systems, giving a nice little window of opportunity for everybody else's stuff. Um, Abriel, I'm not Abriel, um, her too, but we're not there yet. Uh, (laughs) uh, Zaya and Peach, who went after the security systems to essentially make sure that uh, no alarms were triggered prematurely. And of course, Mason, Olam, Abriel, and Patch, who went to go do the actual rescuing and extraction of the powered uh, prisoners. Um, this all went reasonably well for most of it. Uh, Jade... The engine room had a great time. I don't know. <laughs> we went, it was perfect. It yeah. was great. Jade and Becker managed to successfully implant the virus. Um, Bina and Taeon, with a few little hitches, but managed to overcome them, were able to just utterly destroy that ship's propulsion in a matter of a, uh, just a handful of minutes. Nearly getting caught, but managing to avoid it um, in the process. And um, now that's kind of where where the smooth sailing kind of ended because uh, can you do? <laughs> because Mason's group, uh, upon having some of the security systems shut down, uh, immediately encountered a silver break war droid, uh, a terrifying and powerful um, construct that could very easily have spelled the end for that group. Um, But with some quick thinking from Mason, he was able to distract the war droid and lead it off um, kind of away from the rest of the group. While that was happening, (coughs) Peach and Zaya had been in the security systems uh, trying to take the war droid offline and while that was happening, Peach was a, was ambushed by the powered individual that they had encountered, the power mimic that they had encountered um, quite a while ago on the planet of Zolaterra, who had been dogging their footsteps ever since, um, and basically engaged in a in a duel of blades and and psychic uh, proportions. So uh, that went in a direction. Um, Peach. I mean, kind of. Peach kind of got the shit kicked out of her, but gave as good as she got. Um, like, serious, some serious blows traded there. Um, and in the end, Zaya was finally able to uh, destroy the right consoles to shut down the uh, the the war droid, thereby saving Mason, who had essentially like uh, trapped himself in a corridor, um, leading it away. And. I think that was pretty much at the point where everybody started kind of coming back to started slowly making their way back together as things seemed like they were going well. However, just as people were starting to get to come back together and regroup with the uh, with in the process of rescuing 
the powered prisoners, a comm channel opened and Jade came through saying that something that things had gone wrong, that they'd been seen and that he needed help. And at that point, in the to, to the sound of blaster fire in the background, um, the communications cut out. And that, I think, is where we left off. Did I miss anything important? No, I'm just not. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So that, however, is not where we are starting tonight's episode. Where we are starting tonight's episode, or rather when we are starting tonight's episode, is... Depending on who you ask, this is either a little bit of time in the past or quite a bit of time in the future. Um, It is 24 and a half years from now. Taeyeon, you are are in the training room uh, at, at at the resistance base that you have sort of come to call home over the last couple of years. Um, your concentration uh, is fully engaged with your with the task at hand as y- a little... Um, your, your eyes start to get a little bit dry and you kind of blink very slowly to try to get one eye at a time so as not to completely lose your concentration. Um, focusing this time stuff is really, really tough. The small scale stuff, easy enough to do, but larger jumps have only ever happened to you by accident. Now, wielding your full concentration on the task at hand, it's draining you, not just mentally from the effort that you're exerting, but also on some level physically. So you know that somehow you can feel your that your powers are currently in overdrive right now. And as you look down, you confirm it by seeing that sort of aurora that generally uh, ex- uh, exudes from your body whenever you're channeling your abilities. As you're focusing, concentrating, suddenly something clicks in your mind and you suddenly zip. You're standing just a few feet away from where you were moments ago. And as you look up... Um, you see the the Voxora st- patch standing there, um, mid sentence, uh, to saying, "All right, now begin your constant." They turn and look directly at you and say, "Well, that is I I progress." Bro, I think I did it. That was great. Did you see that? You did it because I jumped. That is correct. A matter of seconds but a matter of but a matter of time no less that is more concentr- was, that's more that is more control and precision than you have had in the past yeah i still remember when i just completely missed my birth yeah i don't really want to do that again um missed my birthday last last year oh i'm getting the hang of this though. yeah at this point just throw this wave of exhaustion like as you say this wave of exhaustion passes over you and you <sighs> just sort of collapse um and you basically like start getting tunnel vision as like as things as the uh the world starts going black um around you as you just just as you're about to collapse the last thing that you're seeing is the is a form with their back to you um an an orzai form you can see the antenna up their back to you focusing her back is to you as she's focusing on the screen you just collapse as you focus there and as just as about, as you're about to hit the ground you feel a pair, a pair of arms grab you and support you as you sort of stumble you look to this to your side and she's standing right there next to you um as ada spricks looks up kind of her big eyes blinking at you as she smiles says oh gotta stay steady there i'm trying apparently my body's not happy with the seconds i skipped just now yeah. Uh, she just suddenly just vanishes from existence. And as you glance over her, she's still sitting with her back to you at the, at the screens, just sort of typing away. Oh. Oh, okay. Um, Can I have like a, a break? Yes, I think that would be advisable. Please. Uh, and they, they take, they grab a chair and start dragging it over to where you are and set it next to you. 
Thanks. I'm just gonna grab the chair and just drag it over to Ada Spricks. <laughs> yeah. Um, and just like take a seat. Yeah. As she, as you sit down, she's she type she's typing. She just kind of glances sideways at you and just says, "That was pretty good." Yeah. It looks like you're getting the hang of it. Soon I'll hopefully be jumping minutes. Yeah. And not passing out. Yeah, that would be ideal. And she just keeps keeps typing. Uh, you feel? Think, oh, go ahead. I think Tana just like excitedly looking at what she's typing out. Mm-hmm. It's just a string of incomprehensible code that is just sort of like going. Uh, and at one point, she, uh, without looking up, and this is something that you've gotten used to um, over the over the time your time knowing her. But uh, without looking up, she just says, um, "Can I get that? Can I get that uh, code enhancer?" Uh, and all of a sudden, you can see for a moment as she wavers and seems to like split in two, uh, as uh, her doppelganger just sort of want, wa- walks to the other side of the room, grabs a piece of tech and brings it back, hands it to her, and just seamlessly merges back to back with her. <clears throat> oh, you, I don't know how you, how did you master that so quick? I can you? Is there anything you can teach me? Can I do that? Um, is that a thing you can teach? I mean, maybe. I mean, time. Maybe. Ooh, time echoes. That could be an interesting thing. Ooh, worth looking into. Yes. Wait. Will I pass out? Ooh, I don't know. Let me run. Let me run some tests. And she just start, uh, she just starts running. You can see as she like pulls up on a different screen, like more like a, basically a simulation, something a program that you've seen her use before when like trying to extrapolate out like other people's like potential power usages. Um, Basically, this is kind of like her pet project. She loves working with this, um, using using data from obtained from training sessions to try to extrapolate out what the team might be able to do one day. Um, as she just starts going through and she just sets, she slides it aside and it just starts running in the background as she continues what she's working on. You feel as you're watching, you feel um, Patch's hand on your shoulder as you look up, and they say, "A matter of seconds is no small feat." Almost every important event in in galactic history has been decided over a matter of seconds. Is it is it just me, or does it seem like you're praising me, Patch? You are free to make your own interpretations. I think he's, pra- Ada. I think he's praising me. She says, "He's kind of right, Patch. He did you, that. Did a little bit sound like maybe a compliment." And she says. Are you sure you're not turning a bit more organic in your old age? Uh, and Patch just sort of looks, uh, gives gives sort of a, a their body language indica- is one that you've grown familiar with, and it's sort of a, a, a stance that sort of indicates sort of mock indignation um, <laughs> as they turn and say, I am going to run some configurations on the training room. And they turn and start making their way out. They're really starting to like me, I think. She nods and says, Oh, I think you're right about that. And she says, You hear that? We know you have feelings. And she goes back and continues typing. Uh, and finally just sort of lets out a, a rush of air and pushes her, herself away from, from the console and says, Whew, oh, How long have I been doing that? <sighs> what time is it? Um, I think you've been there for like maybe... Oh, an hour and 35 minutes hmm. um, 23 seconds felt like longer but I guess you would know and she just sort of elbows you and <laughs> yeah everything I need to I need to know everything about time because I don't want to lose anymore <laughs> yeah she leans back and she just sort of gazes absently as, as you watch the like the figures of her algorithm just sort of running across the screen um, she's just sort of absently looking at it she says have you ever thought about what you might do if you get, I mean, when when you get full control over this? I mean, I mean, what? I mean, I don't really really understand how any of it works, but you know, time travel and the laws of the universe and all that. But I mean, what if? I mean, we could end this thing. Yeah, I mean, 
I'll be honest, is a bit nerve-wracking to think that I am the one that has the power to end all this. Um, but once we do, we can go somewhere and settle down. I don't know. One of the, I'm sure you can find a, a villa. A, <laughs> she smiles a, and just, um, she says, a villa? Really? <laughs> I mean, we're going to take down Silver Break. I'm sure some of their people own villas. Once they're dealt with, we can take those villas. Huh. Redistribute the wealth. I like it. Exactly. And she just sort of links, uh, she wheels her chair over to you, scoots it over to you, and links her arm through yours and just puts her head on your, on your shoulder. Um, and as happens, uh, whenever, whenever she does this, you can see as she starts, she starts glowing just a little bit brighter, uh, that natural, that natural orzai bioluminescence starting to, uh, just sort of, uh, raise the, the, the light level in the immediate area around you. She yeah, just sort of the rest of my mm -hmm. head on hers. Give her a little kiss on my forehead. Yeah. Rest my head on hers. She looks up at at the screens and she says, "I feel like lunch. Does that sound good?" Yeah, that definitely sounds. Yeah, uh, I'm actually honestly very hungry. I should have been eaten. <laughs> I should have been eating like yeah a few seconds ago. Yeah, we. That's right. You almost just passed out. Okay, let's go. We need to. <clears throat> we need to get you something to eat and. She kind of looks around and says, maybe we do it before Novus comes back because the last time, you remember what happened the last time yes. both of us forgot to eat? And yeah. <clears throat> All right. Um, come on, let's go. I have an idea. And she grabs, she stands up and grabs your hand and just starts pulling you away. Yeah, I'll just go. No resistance. I'll just yeah. go straight. As you're, as you're right. running down the hallway uh, towards, the, towards the, the kitchens, she turns to you and says, besides, you heard Patch. The most important things in the galaxy were decided over a matter of seconds. Oh boy! <laughs> and she shakes her head and just sort of gives that that laugh, that little laugh that she makes that she she has when when she's uh, teasing others, um, and just kind of continues to pull you along. <laughs> um, but that that moment. That moment was a long time ago. That moment is a long time from now. Uh, as you kind of come back to yourself, having heard the uh, the uh, the message from Jade, you see as everybody there's this. You come back to yourself, sort of in this beat of silence, as everybody's just sort of looking at each other. Um, Olam sort of still clutching his shoulder, where you where the uh, the war droids um, laser blast hit him. As he looks, he looks around at the other at the other pods. He says, uh, several of which are still are still in the process of like running through the the wake up cycle. He goes, "You have to go. I'll 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 stay here and open these." Um, Patch stands says, "I will as well." Okay. Um, wait. Hold on. Olam, come. And I wanna rush over to Olam, and I'm going to use Repair Flesh. And I think, yeah, my intellect, um, it just covers it, so I don't need to tell anything. <laughs> cool. But what essentially happens is um, Taeyeon's hand glows with the, like all of kind of colors, and he places it on um, Olam's shoulder. And uh, mechanically, he gets to add two to every recovery roll he does. Oh, but cool. I think, um, flavor wise, um, Essentially, the wound goes back in time, so it kind of reverses. Yeah. Um, and the thing that's interesting and... is it actually it actually would heal basically completely because your your manipulation of time plus Olam's natural like the like the regeneration that his sort of accelerated regeneration, uh, both of those things kick in simultaneously, and you watch as just like Olam's shoulder is just like the hole is is in his clothes is still there for a moment, and through it you can see like the burn that starts to like just fade and then miraculously you also watch as the threads of olam's coat start knitting themselves back together and being like completely full um oh. as he's just whoa uh thanks i can't do that too much so don't get shot again i wasn't planning on it okay uh 
He says, go get Jade. I'll, we'll get these people out. Um, as you look around, you can see that there are several people who are currently, um, stand sitting around like near their near their their pods those who've, who've already been woken up um many of them sort of looking around in confusion um bina this is you're feeling all of this but the thing is normally ordinarily in a situation like this you would be overwhelmed with their confusion their their fear their whatever emotions that would just be and you you still are feeling them but right now those are in the background those are well in the back as the as your own panic starts ringing alarm bells in your mind. Um, Peach, you're standing standing probably the closest to Bina in this instance. Um, <laughs> you feel it. You feel that radiating off of Bina, merging with your own. Mason is running around. Mm -hmm. um to individuals like just kind of like letting them know everything's okay we're trying to get out of here probably like pulling out some kind of like space wrapped protein bar and like just breaking up little chunks and handing it to like them so they can get a little bit of strength and feel in their bodies a little bit and try to get them you know okay to, yeah. to travel yeah as you're walking past one woman uh, an anzalonian woman um her her hair pretty long um and currently like very tangled and uh, she looks up and grabs you as you're as you're going by she says wait <coughs> sorry uh, um what what's happening what where are we do you uh, are you able to walk she looks down and she kind of she basically as soon as you remember her her getting out basically when as soon as the pod opened she like collapsed onto the ground just sort of moved dragged herself along the floor and then just sort of sat and has been there ever since as she looks down she uh, starts trying to get her legs under her and she with some effort pushes herself up to a standing position says i i help her up yeah i i, I think so here i'll let me let me help and um i'll explain along the way as, as best i can but we really must hurry right now for this, our, all our safety she looks behind her at all and looks around the room she says Okay, um, and she says, "I th I think I can." She kind of pushes you a little bit. She says, "I think I can. I think I can do it." Okay. Um, Good. Here, she, here's a little protein. She takes it and she eats it. And as she's standing there, you watch as she very suddenly like sways, um, and starts falling towards the towards the pod. And as she does, she lets out a little shriek as she falls and loses her balance. And as she does, you watch as the pod just explodes outward in shrapnel um as yeah like for a moment the pod vibrates and then just shrapnel goes into the wall as she she grabs a hold of it and like stares at it and looks at you she says what what you, what is this um i'll explain later but that is really gonna be useful all right <laughs> um you see Zaya is currently looking at her terminal. She says, <sighs> okay, I think I managed to track the transmission that Jade sent and shit. She says, it's in the complete opposite of our extraction zone. Of course it is. She says, every time. Uh, she looks around. She says, I want to get- You're muted, Caitlin. <laughs> Bina is just like fully vibrating right now. Yeah. Like, I <laughs> And she says, okay. Yeah. She turns and looks at you. She says, okay. Can you handle that? Yeah. She turns to Olam. She says, we'll get the rest of these people out and then we'll get them to the extraction zone and you meet us there. We need okay. to go get Jade. Yeah. She says, all right, people, let's go. She starts like suddenly puts on an authoritative voice that you've never seen her use before as she starts like walking on her she's like all right everybody on your feet this is an emergency situation i know you all have questions you're gonna have to wait right now this is an emergency and she just like goes on and starts like taking charge of the situation as olam and patch continue like opening up pods and running their 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 uh <laughs> the sequencing um peach as you turn to go you feel a tug on your arm and as you turn you see abriel standing there she says i'm coming with you Okay. My sister's not here, which means we're not done yet. 
Okay. Mission's not done. She takes off her her, uh, her medical bag and tosses it to Olam. She says, pulls out the the pistol that she had strapped to her to her legs. Says, "Okay, let's go." <sighs> okay, speed is of the essence. Boy, okay. Should I go ahead? I can move faster than all of you. Maybe not. Maybe not Mason, but most of you. That's right. I can move fast. <laughs> uh, he's already walking. Like, <laughs> yeah. We're, I mean, we're on our way. Like, we're yeah. going as yeah. fast yeah. as possible. Yeah. But you're probably, if you're coming with us, then. Yeah, I'm coming with you guys. Okay. Um, Mason, you're with them, yeah. Uh, I asked them very clearly. Like, do you guys want me with you? Yes. I mean, sorry. Yes. Yeah. I, I, yeah. yeah we need I more. think so. More people. I think the more um, firepower the, more... the better. Let's yes. do it. All right. So the probably a trap. So <laughs> the five yeah. of you head off down the corridors, following um, the transmission that Zaya tracked from Jade's communicator. Um, we have comms. Our comms are secure. Yes. Okay, I would like to inform Alma of what's happening. <laughs> yeah, um, she comes over. That the... there are people incoming, and then yeah, I think it would just over text probably. I think or just I don't think she would call. I think okay. it just over like a text message. Yeah, just she... that there are incoming uh, people from for the whatever, and then that we're off to do this. <laughs> okay, yeah, she she sends back an acknowledgement, um, and then um, you hear just sort of over the over the comms, you hear Sedona's voice says, "All right." Everybody, we're making our way back to the extraction zone. Uh, be prepared. Um, if we're out, Becker, there might be. A, there's a chance that we're going to have to override the locks on the air on the airlock. So, uh, be patient, everybody. We'll we'll work on it. Uh, and then just shh, cuts out. And you hear Zaya's acknowledgement of that um, as uh, you all proceed through the corridors. Um, <clears throat> as you make your way down the corridors. Uh, Bina, you feel a ping as you can feel like emo like you can feel the nerves from up ahead of you as the otherwise empty corridor. You look around, um, you don't see anybody, but you can sense them very clearly up ahead. And as you like try to pin down exactly like where, you actually go ahead and I'm gonna have I'm gonna have you make this a roll. I'm gonna make cool. this a roll. Um so this is an intellect roll. Difficulty of this is gonna be four. <laughs> Okay. I'm not um, sure that you have to roll on this, but we'll see. I might have to. Okay. Uh, task sensing emotions and dispositions. Um, I'll give it to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. This is not a social interaction. No. Um, I mean... I think that is all I have. Are you sure it's not tasks involving sight? Because I feel like yeah, is it tasks involving sight? <laughs> it is. You're trying to pick, figure is out exactly yeah, yeah, yeah. okay, what cool. these people are. That's why I was asking. Okay. Oh, okay then. Yeah, that's yeah. I don't think you need to roll <laughs> one time. <laughs> yeah, you. <laughs> and I also have a free level of effort now, so. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. So as you uh, as you you feel it and immediately just start looking around and quickly your like your eyes are sort of darting around the around the apparently empty corridor you note where some of the, where some of the bulkheads uh like where the kind of like the ridge that goes around the edge uh, uh like periodically there's every so often like maybe every maybe every 50 feet of corridor or so there's one that's a little bit uh it come it sticks out a little bit more from the wall uh and as you look there's definitely one of those up ahead of you and as you're looking you catch just like maybe an elbow or something like that being pulled around around the corner of one um is is the we've mentioned before that sometimes I can recognize emotions like a voice, like you can. Is is this a, anyone no. I recognize, or no. is it just to okay? No, you can feel the emotions that you sense are you. You're sensing anticipation. You're sensing uh, nerves, uh, like that kind of pre like pre uh, fight nerves. Um, basically, there's there's people up ahead of you, and they're gearing themselves up to do something. Okay, Fina will kind of like all four arms out <laughs> mm-hmm. to stop everyone behind her. And then we'll kind of just like point up to the, the area. Do I know how many? Do I, can I uh, yeah, that? You, or you're, it... Yeah, right now you're pinging three. So yeah, she'll point up and then she'll um, signal three. Okay. Taeyong just nods and then 
taps himself slightly and then uh, he kind of erupts into this energy and then when it dies down you basically see a, like um it's like he's surrounded by practically transparent but it's like it's more translucent but so close to transparent that you can barely see it like crystals flowing around him oh, and then they fade um but if you looked into those crystals you'd see a reflection but at different points in your life so if, if Bina looked into it they might have seen old Bina and, and then in another crystal might have seen young Bina and then you know current Bina Bina from a couple of seconds ago if you know in a couple of seconds and then that fades as I I was gonna say cast, it's not really some magic, as I use resonance field. Cool. Um, and yeah, my edge eats that. Nice. And All then right. I look to the others. Should we just go in? Friendlies, just saying. I can always put them to sleep if we need. <laughs> Do we all just like hold an action? Is that what's about to happen? <laughs> and then we just walk up and... <laughs> I mean, like, I don't think I there's can, held yeah. actions in this game. Yeah. <laughs> I can jump, I can appear there and get a jump on them. I could, if you'd like to. Yeah. I can, we could, t we could split them up. Sounds good. Yeah. All right. On three. On three. I just, they seem, they're, they're nervous, which doesn't seem like tactical. <laughs> like, <laughs> tactical. I mean, people. we can go talk to them and. I'm just saying, like, tactical guards, people generally have, like, a handle on shit they just seem nervous that's all i'm saying okay oh well, let's we, go do something yeah so <laughs> i'm just gonna kind of nod to tan like are we we, we doing yeah. this we doing this all right on three <laughs> on three one two, two. and then just turn just disappears <laughs> yeah i'm gonna just old-fashioned way run forward <laughs> Um, and kind of probably a few seconds after Taeyeon. Yeah, I use fast step to just like appear right. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, uh, you Taeyeon, you appear right like from, to everybody else's perspective. Taeyeon just vanishes and reappears in instantly, just uh, a little ways down the hallway, just on the other side of those things. Taeyeon, from your perspective, as you reappear, what you are seeing is you see uh, three individuals two security personnel and one of them appears to be uh like appears to be just crew all of them holding uh holding blasters kind of uh, <laughs> up up against the the bulkhead just sort of like looking over their shoulders um the first one to note you to notice you appearing is the is the non-security person who is like <laughs> just off to one side and like looks at you and sees you can see her eyes go wide uh as she sees you just appear out of nowhere um, you can hear, or you watch Peach as you, as she's running down the corridor towards you, and the security personnel tense. And as they're as they're going to uh, to round to like suddenly throw themselves around the corner, uh, <laughs> the uh, the cr the crew member um, tell you what. I'm gonna offer you a GM intrusion, Tan. Oh, I can't say no. Okay. <laughs> yeah, All right. right. <laughs> so go ahead and grab one XP and hand hand one off to somebody else. I want to give it to Peach just in case it involves Peach. <laughs> All right. Good. Fair. Good cool. thing. <laughs> Sounds good. Okay. So you appear, um, and in that moment, as you see these two security personnel preparing to ambush Pe Peach as she rushes them, um, the crew member sees you. Uh, and she just, in, with very trembling hands, just fires the blaster erratically in your, towards you. Um, I need you to make a speed defense roll. Uh, the difficulty on this one is going to be three. How close are they right now to me? Um, the I would resonance field depends on... If it kicks in, it depends on how close they are. Well, how... I'd say you're probably you're probably within at least immediate you're probably within immediate range of them. Yes. Yeah. In that case, because of resonance field, I now it, it's not a wait. Yeah, it's not a speed defense roll. It's intellect defense Ooh, roll. Ooh, sick! All right. Okay. Um, so the difficulty on it is three. Three. Okay. Um. So I have. Uh, where is it at? So yeah, I have. Uh, I'm trained in intellect defense roles. So okay. That takes it down to one. Yeah. Um, 
and I'm gonna use my power shift and intellect defense rolls, <laughs> intelligence to bump it down again. So after all three or higher. Yep. Um, That's good. We like that. And you know, I'm I'm as well. Nah, I'm gonna roll. All right. <laughs> I'm gonna roll. You're better. <laughs> Uh, 15. Okay, so uh, she awesome. fires wildly towards you, and uh, you, as you're as you're standing there, you see, you see, the bolts. They they you you feel them hit your chest. You can feel them hit your leg. You can feel them hit your shoulder. But at the same time, you're also not feeling that. You're feeling them as they miss you. And as you stand there for a moment, you focus in on those, on that feeling, and you just let your body move. And as you do, you're just, where, wherever the blaster bolts go, you're just not there. Um, you just, you, using your sort of, this moment of, of fractured time around you, you're able to tell exactly where those, those bolts are gonna be and when, and you're just not there. Um, I did not feel pleasant, but I dodged it. Okay. Ooh, <laughs> glad I didn't go that down down that timeline. Yeah. Uh, as she she uh, is sort of freaking out at this point, the both guards both guards turn to see what what's happened. Instinctually turn towards you, um, which of course is what prevents them from immediately ambushing Peach as she rushes in. <laughs> Peach, what are you doing? Since these guys are totally like t- totally surprised by this whole situation, so go for it. What are you going to do? Um, I'm literally going to walk up to them, and while they're distracted, I'm going to attempt to use um, my put-to-sleep ability and um, conk them both out. Okay. All right. Um... So I, you, I just kind of literally go up and uh, just kind of say hello. You know, they're not really paying attention. Um, the putting to sleep is usually accompanied by a friendly hello and a wave. So. <laughs> Fair enough. All right. So this is pretty simple. This will be uh, an like intellect that. roll. The difficulty on this is going to be three. Okay. So I'm trained in this. Mm-hmm. So that brings so it down that to two. It. Yeah. Um, so, um, and to use it on two of them, I have a power shift, so it'll allow me to do it on both of them okay right? it allows it allows it to be more than one target so it's two yeah. targets okay perfect um, any so number be... you pick a number that's associated with the ability and your power shift can do something about it <laughs> yeah <laughs> um so that brings it's um two and then i'm gonna use um a level of effort because it's free all right <laughs> um so i just need a one or better or a three or better okay sounds good all right so Go ahead and roll three or better. Okay. Seven. I thought it was a one, but it was a seven. I was Oof. so afraid. Oof. Yeah. Because so, the one and the seven are right next to each other. So both of these guards, as they turn, uh, reacting to the sudden uh, burst of blaster fire, they turn, leveling their weapons, which they had been preparing to fire at you as you came around the corner, uh, instead at, at Taeon. And in that moment, in their moment of distraction, you just sort of walk by and just sort of, hello, as they both, like, both of them turn and just immediately just... Yeah, I like to think as they are turning, their eyes, like, close, like, and they collapse to the ground as they're turning to see me. Yeah. Uh, Both of them go down. The only one left is is the... uh, the the crew member she looking at her a little closely now sh- you can tell that she is probably engineering core um as she like is staring at the two of you and just sort of uh looking between the two of you she just drops drops the the blaster and says i i i i i uh and she's like <laughs> go find a closet or something yeah, i wanted to have, as soon as they i knew that they had it as mm-hmm. soon as they left so i think being sort of walking as soon as they disappeared <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And hopefully can arrive. So what were you saying, Dan? You can go. Oh, I was gonna say that like, you probably should find a closet and hide in there for a bit. You don't seem to attack to fight. She, she, Unless two of the crew. She <laughs> remember. looks at between all of you and then looks down. Bina, you can feel her obvious like terror as she's mm-hmm. like she just watched this this series of impossible events just happen. In like a second. Yeah. She's looking at she goes Are Are they dead? Oh, they're no, they're just they're just asleep. 
she she looks at them and then just on my honor they're just asleep she said, but we should probably take your your blasters just for safety purposes <laughs> she just sort of nods um and like sees it and just sort of uh, like it's kind of holding up a hand just reaches out out for the blaster and just slides it across the floor towards <laughs> Taeon. Bina pops yeah. up from Thanks. behind mm-hmm. Peach and is like, uh, how well do you know, like, the uh, manifest on the ship? I don't, I don't, um, what, what do you mean? Do I, you know, do you know who's here? I mean, the, sh- the crew, some uh-huh. extra security. Uh, Any guests? Any who got quarters who isn't crew? She just, you get the staff she frowns messages. and she says, are you talking about the scary guy? Oh, well, that would be interesting to know, too, but, no, what's Abriel's sister's name? Do we know? Uh, Abriel's there. You can ask her. Abriel's with us. And I think we're just going to kind of, like, read the, Abriel, Abriel, what's your sister's name? Just, <laughs> like, like, they'll kind of, like, whisper it behind, behind someone. Yeah, she says, <laughs> my sister's Liarlai. Do you know anyone by that name? She frowns and says, no, um, wait, but there is... There is someone, some kind of, I don't know, someone, a, a woman, Anzalonian woman. I, I've only seen her once or twice, but she's, she, I mean, she's usually pretty close to that scary guy or or the other one. Is she still feeling really nervous right now? Oh, yeah. She's okay. not as much. She's, she's <laughs> yeah, not, better. she's able to speak. She's yeah, not so yeah, terrified yeah. she can't speak mm-hmm. anymore, but... Um, but she's be like, we're just on family rescue mission. You're going to be fine. I promise. Okay? She says, okay. Um, and she, I didn't want to... I'm not forcing the emotion. Yeah. I just want to be like, you're going to be good. Okay? <laughs> look at me. Do I look like a killer? <laughs> like <And> we're, <laughs> we're really in a hurry. I mean, we really have to go. Yeah, we do have to go. We want to get out of your hair really fast. So, like... Uh, <laughs> she says, I, I mean, I guess... If you know anything about where we could find her. They were keeping her up with in the officer's quarters, but Do I know where that is? Um, yeah, it's it's pretty close. It's like basically the level that is like the bridge is sort of its own level. It's it's its own deck, um, kind of mm-hmm. high above the rest of the ship. But the deck immediately below that is where the officer's quarters are. Okay, uh, scary guy. What uh, what else do you know about him? Not much, just that he gives me the creeps, and... That's fair. Yeah, sometimes that's all you know. Uh, okay, well, we're really in a hurry. Does anyone else have any questions? No, let's... Oh. Good. Can I... Do you have a communicator on you? Uh, she reaches over for it and, like, unpins it from, from the lapels of her, uh, of her uniform. And Fina just kind of holds out a hand. She, she gives it to you. You understand. Oh. Sorry. I'll leave it somewhere for you. We should get the ones on the guys that are sleeping as well, actually. Yes, also, yeah. <laughs> I do. Mason's just like, Bleak. yeah. <laughs> Takes care of that. They'll mm. wake yep. up eventually, just don't bother them. Go hang out somewhere until it blows over. You'll be fine. Okay. And she pats her on the shoulder and starts moving. <laughs> if, if, the guard, if the guards are uh, have uh, manacles of some kind, I manacle them oh, yeah. slightly together. Absolutely. Yeah, put them, put them yeah. in like a supply closet and manacle together. <laughs> yeah, yes. as the conversation is happening. Perfect. So Mason would have been working on that. Yeah. yeah. No, That's no. awesome. <laughs> No problem. All right. So uh, this will be a great great story later. I promise. (laughs) (laughs) This four engineer worker just had the weirdest experience. (laughs) Um, You all continue down the corridor uh, after the uh, uh, in in the direction following the signal, um, and. Are these comms live at all, or is it are there like constant chatter, like walkie talkie, or do they, or are these like have to be activated? Can we Which disable ones? the comms? Yeah, oh, no, yeah, the, no, the ship the ship wide comms are, are disabled. Oh, okay. like, uh, yeah, like the the in- Okay. Yeah. Um, Just in case, though, I don't want to take everybody's communications. Sure. Um, <laughs> there are smart people. Are you talking about you're talking about theirs smart. or yours? Theirs. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So they're off. They're off. They're off okay, right. I forgot about that. That was last last <laughs> session. All right. Um. You proceed, uh, rushing through the halls. Every once in a while, don't think, sure. Yeah, every once in a while, Bina, you'll like ping another ambush, but usually, more often than not, you're able to find your way around it. Um, and clearly, we can handle them. Yeah, 
matter of seconds we do. Yeah. I'll just yeah. go back in time with Picard and try again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just, just comes back all like like smoking, Loophole. just like that smoke coming don't... off him. Is like okay, <laughs> don't go left. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> oh. Yeah. So you uh, you rush uh, in the direction and not it's it feels like forever because of what's at stake but it's probably no more than about maybe five minutes or so um since you've been traversing the corridors um bina you suddenly stop because up ahead you're pinging about probably about a dozen people up ahead and then amongst them you feel you can feel jade Okay, yeah, she'll kind of like hand Drop back it. to everybody uh, and then she'll do what she did before, but she can hold up 12 fingers. So she holds up 12 fingers and point, points at the room. Um, um, I will also say that there is another familiar presence among them. And the last time that you felt it was on Zolotera. Um, this is the power mimic. Mm-hmm. Oh no! <laughs> uh, oh, the... back. Oh, ooh, maybe. Ooh, maybe. Maybe. I know we're gonna probably need Tan, but like, how do we keep Tan away from the power mimic? <laughs> Tan doesn't know, guys. He's he's gonna go full force in this. Or something. Hey, someone's Caitlin. gonna have to keep him. Huh? I'm gonna offer you a GM intrusion. I want it. Okay. All right. Go ahead and take take an XP and pass it on. Hey, on <laughs> drag. <take it. laughs> okay. Okay. Um, you very normally you feel other people's emotions. Mm -hmm. You and you generally experience them in one direction. You experience them like feeling them yourself. Mm -hmm. Um, more recently, you've felt yourself able to push your emotions out in like towards others this sensation is one that is very familiar to you but not outside your home world as you feel somebody reaching back oh, i would like to pull away <laughs> okay um uh, you just you do it it doesn't feel it doesn't feel uh malicious it's just sort oh. of a t is it familiar yeah you you know immediately who it is as like as you sort of tentatively or like feeling it out you know immediately that it's it's him it's the power mimic okay yeah i pull um, away yeah i would like to avoid him <laughs> yeah Can, mm -hmm. um from i know my range right mm -hmm. like i know how far i have to i would like to pull try to pull people start <laughs> pulling us backwards okay as you're doing range. that as you're doing that you hear from around the corner you hear you hear that heavily muffled um and filtered voice saying there's no point. We know you're here. Let's have a conversation. Wait, are we like hearing like looks... gunfire? Are we hearing like laser fire going on in the background to all of this? <laughs> hmm? Oh, like, sorry. Are people getting shot? Oh, no, stuff, no, no, like, no. In the back of it, there's just silent. Silent. Yeah, I mean, I... you can hear. You can hear basically like this. What this? What sounds like the ambient noise of like people present. So like rustle of clothing or like you know just sort of. A mutter here or there, but yeah. You know how many of them? She holds up three hands and signals twelve. <laughs> how many friendlies? Two, one. You feel Jade. That's it. Jade. What do they want to do? They want to talk. Um. You hear yes. another voice from around the corner. And this one you don't recognize, but Taeon, you do. You just hear a voice saying, saying, the offer expires soon. I recommend you make a decision. Was that a pun? Was he making a pun? No, no but can I go and punch him, please? <laughs> well, it's rude, to, it's rude to not accept an invitation. And I'm, you know, <laughs> well, I, I just, I yeah, just I think guess. you gotta go for it. I'm just gonna walk forward. Okay. okay. I think Vina, Vina's gonna kind of grab uh, Tam by the elbow and just be like, I don't really know how his powers work, but like, maybe try not to use your powers on tactical gear. Mimic man. I don't know if that's how he observes them or if just being near you, but I guess do your best to stay away from him. 
Why? Don't use your Wait. power on him if you can help don't it. Don't use your power on him. Okay. Hopefully, I'm hopefully I'm whispering. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, as you all yeah, do, okay. Yeah, you all sort of slowly make your way forward, and as you come he around, borrows the, our powers, yeah. and I don't want him to get yours. As you yeah. come around the corner, um, you see a full squad of security personnel um, standing arrayed in the uh, in the hallway. Before mm -hmm. before we round the corner. I want to use blend in. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I have I'd use a lot of it, but I still spend. Okay. Um, I'll tell you, because you're not directly in their line of sight when you do this, I'm not gonna make you roll for it. So cool. yeah. So uh, I'll just walk in behind everybody. Sure. Yeah. Um. As you round the corner, you see the full squad, about a dozen or so. Uh, armed security um, in front of them standing much as you remember him um, those of you who haven't seen him for, for some time the the mimic is standing um, in full tactical gear um, standing having with with sort of a an electro blade held but in front in in front and sort of in an, in a rest posi resting position pointed towards the ground um, and where's Jade? That's all I care about. Where's yeah. Jade? <laughs> Jade yeah, is, where is Jade? currently next to him. Um, on the other side of Jade from him, you see uh, who was, I think it was Peach, right? Who saw uh, Entropis on the bridge, the security feeds. Mm -hmm. uh, you see him standing there. Uh, and to recap, this this individual is a Lumnian Terran. Uh, which is to say uh, a Lumnian with human ancestry, um, taller than most humans, but shorter than most Lumnians. You can see like the sort of bony ridges along the cheeks that go up and around the eye sockets and sort of frame the eye sockets, making them look almost skeletal. Um, the ridged, the ridged nose um, creating almost like the, the effect of like, almost like a bony blade that goes up the up the center of his nose um completely bald um with cr with cranial bone ridges um very c doesn't have quite like the flattened sort of features that alumnian has much more pronounced human features um that sort of dull grayish skin um that even though common to alumnians seems even more kind of pallid than they than tends to be even on even on Lumnians. Um standing wearing just sort of this crimson robe over that kind of parts in front and goes to either side of his legs and a sort of armor piece that goes on top of the whole thing. Um he stands uh right there with one arm out held to held towards the side of Jade's head. The hand held to the side of Jade's head, where you can see this sort of rusty red glowing energy just sort of playing about his hands. The other hand up, and on the other side, you see an Anzalonian woman who, while you've never seen her before, you recognize some of her features, and there is a family resemblance. Um, <clears throat> see, as he stands, just sort of grinning, sort of uh, at, at all of you as you come around the corner. Um, a start standing in stark contrast to the very stoic individual um, impassive features of the of the mimic um, just sort of standing there hands out to either side says there we are much easier to communicate this way so it's good to see you and meet you face to face and you, uh, his eyes fall on you, Taeon, and he says, I should have assumed you would follow me through. Taeon is like vibrating with, I mean, Bina can tell, but I think anyone can tell. He's mm -hmm. vibrating with just pure anger. <laughs> and he's very much trying to keep himself from, it looks like he's about to jump into action and he's very much trying to stop himself. Mm -hmm. um, Tropis. Let these people go. What? And then you won't get... 
what fun would can... that be? No, I okay. think we should have a little chat. You see, right now, where we stand, I hold all the cards. I'm sure our young friend has told you about what I can do to your friends here with a single touch. So, here's how we can do this. I have no interest in either of your friends. Their lives are meaningless to me. So, all you have to do is turn yourselves over, and they all go home. What are you getting for helping these people? What are they paying you? Who are you saying that to? The Entropis. I, like, I, I want to know what his stake is. Like, he says, paying me. <laughs> no. This is personal. Well, we all have to have our hobbies. Not much of a hobby. Don't knock it till you try it. Taeyeon is gonna pay his hand up and set his gun down. He's blasted down. Okay, how about how about this? Let them go, and you take me. I'm not interested in you. Well, not yet, anyway. No, this is about them. You see, you're about to cause a lot of trouble for us, for the people I work for, and, well... I simply can't allow that to happen. The first time around, I wasn't here to do anything about it, but now I am. And I've gone to great trouble to make sure of that. So, it's you, the crew of Awakener. Or nothing. Mm. It's nice to know we're desirable. Hmm. Hopefully it will be just as comforting once you're back in your tubes. Hmm. Did you like the tube you were in? Did it feel homey to you? Your time is running out. I need a decision, or I'll make it for you. So, is he? Does he have his hand on Jade? How is it? No, like he's not is touching he either Jade? of them. But they're, they're, his hands are to either side of either either side of him, um, just sort of hovering hey. inches over over either of them. Okay, so I just want to point out real quick before everyone says anything. I have an inability in anything to do with discipline and patience, so I just want to point out. <laughs> yeah, Venus about to fucking go ham right now, so. <laughs> Um, yeah. Can um, I? Oh, if you have something to do, because I... yeah. I was just going to like, as I've kind of been talking, my kind of goal was to use enthrall to. Oh shit! I was about to do the same hold, thing. Fuck to yeah. hold the attention of Entropis, <laughs> mm -hmm. and then kind of like, um, hoping that Bina is attuned to surface thought at this moment. Literally what I was um, about to do, man. Like, <laughs> I, I want to... They're the same people, I, guys. I want, to keep I want to keep talking and, like, kind of, one, trying to get him to talk more about his plan and his evil his evil goals, um, but use enthrall and just communicate to Bina. 
I'm I'm having him talk. Like I like in kind of communicate oh, that I I here's, am. Here's yeah. what I want to do then. I am under Blendin right now. I'm going to walk up behind Peach, and you don't know where I am. Uh, and but she's just gonna kind of in her head go sorry, and I'm going to stick you with a syringe that is going to reduce your next action by three steps. <laughs> Sim <laughs> syringe. Oof. Oh Oof. my god. All right. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and also, if you'll let me, I would also like to encourage. The- because I can also do this <laughs> ability. <laughs> All right. Cool. So what are you doing? It's enthrall, right? Enthrall. Yeah, I'm just doing. Enth- I, okay. I was just doing enthrall to hold his attention and like, uh, basically a lot. Seeing like Taeon is getting antsy and is about to act, like to basically. So is Bina, honestly. And Bina <laughs> and and just like feeling that tension, like literally just fully holding his attention on me, so he can't do anything but engage me in conversation. Okay. Um. Like, really just pushing his buttons. Yeah. Like, oh, really, that coffin that you were tested in really must have been roomy. I, I really I really understand you working with those people. Like, literally just, like, yeah. trying anything and everything to push his buttons. Sure. And Enthrall's sure. great because it can't take any actions if it's enthralled. So, uh-huh. fingers crossed, this works. So, um, go ahead, and this is going to be an intellect roll. The mm-hmm. difficulty of this one... The difficulty was going to be eight. Um, but it is currently automatically reduced down to five. Hell yes. <laughs> can I, can, can encouragement help? Um, it, it, yes. It, I it lowers it so. a difficulty, right? Wait, yeah, it gives yeah. an asset. Wait, how, uh, encouragement is on. It's any ability that it can, it can do any ability that I'm also trained in. So it's, it, no, no, so, no, draw, so, right? uh, yeah, I no, so, no, so it's any, I think it was, go uh, ahead. Allies oh. gain an asset in either defense attack or any task related to a skill you are trained or specialized in. And I am specialized in trained oh, okay. in social interactions, pleasant or otherwise. So Yeah, all right, cool, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm being pretty pleasant and I'm specialized or otherwise. in social yeah, or interaction. Other- <laughs> I'm being very otherwise right I'm being now. Very I'm, being very, very, I'm being pleasant, okay. so you are being that's pleasant. Gonna be a, that's gonna have to be a thing now on the crew of Awakeners. Like, okay, look, you're being very otherwise right now <laughs> and I'm not happy. <laughs> <Love> like, <laughs> so if it's down from an eight to a, Eight, eight to a five, mm-hmm. and then four Plus with so your cool. with your. Oh my yeah. god, Caitlin, lowering this by four. <laughs> I was just about to use this on myself, so I'm glad I can help you because I think it, it lowers it more <laughs> yeah. if I'm helping you. Um, <laughs> it, well, and then I am specialized in pleasant social interactions, mm-hmm. so if that would also lower it two steps. Yeah, so, so that's a difficulty um, too. And um. And it's an intellectual, so I can use a free level of effort. Um, and then um, I'm going to spend a level of effort to just succeed. Okay. <laughs> yes. Excellent. Yes. So Excellent. eight to zero with, with, the, with the assistance. That from reduction. Uh, so you hear me go, oh. <laughs> so yeah. I'm assuming it's like a hypo spray, but like, yeah, yeah. it's like a needle. Yeah, um, I, that's the first. That's my first cipher use, everybody. Yes. What a yay. Seems important. To, to his credit, uh, Entropis, uh, he, whereas most people just sort of go slack and like he manages to hold, keep his arms up, but you can feel the colossal effort from him as he's kind of trying to push against this um, to no avail. Um, okay. Must be fun being Silver Break's bitch. I mean. <laughs> So I would like to now, I since I've used an ability, but I can use an action to regain blend in. I would just like to like st- skirt over to. The, is this a hallway? Um, or a room? yes, it is. But oh. yes, sorry. Go ahead and tell me what you're doing. Just yeah. Oh, I just kind of wanted to start moving towards the jade. <laughs> okay. I I want to see what everyone is doing. What kind of the vibe is of the rest of the group. But my intention is to get to jade at okay. some point. Does not have to be immediately, but that's. Sure. Where I'm heading. Um, let's see. Let me think about this for a second. Uh, if you had other things that were going to happen in response yeah, to I just, that, I just need to, that, I but... need to think about this for a second because I'm trying to think. Uh, all right. Um, Olivia, I'm going to offer you a GM intrusion. <sighs> I I mean, I I want to take it. I I have to take it. I'll take the GM okay. intrusion. But if something happens to Jade, I'm on my way to Washington. <laughs> <laughs> that 
was his ploy all along just to get you to come visit. Yeah, that's what it was. Yeah. <laughs> Fun and games until Lucas is murdered. <laughs> at least you get an XP on yeah, it. Yeah, so you go ahead and take an XP and I'll, and go ahead and give the other one to whoever you choose. Um, I'm going to give that um, to... Um, uh, I'll, I'll give it to Vina because she just came in with the assist. Okay. All right. Okay. So as you're standing there, sort of just keeping up your litany of uh, of kind of needling against Entropis, you hear another voice. <laughs> and this one is not out loud. Oh, fuck. <laughs> and you just hear, you hear... All right. You hear his voice saying, interesting tactic. Um... And it's at that point that you realize that you're not entirely sure where he went, where the mimic went. You don't really <laughs> fully remember him uh, leaving. You just all of a sudden, he, you just, your focus was elsewhere. Um, and at that moment, um, shit. oh shit. <laughs> uh, Peach, I need you to make a speed defense roll. Okie doke. Fuck. What I'm gonna do oh. af after this defense roll, because basically oh, Sorry, this guys. is thing is gonna are gonna get are gonna get kicking off. I'm gonna have you roll uh initiative because basically at this point it's gonna get very difficult to track all the things that are happening in rapid succession. Yeah. So Peach's defense <laughs> roll, and then uh we're gonna launch into probably like we're not to be clear, we're not launching into combat. It's just initiative order so that we can tell it, yeah. we can mm -hmm. like do things in a sort of vaguely or orderly way. So okay, because um, this this one thing is essentially what's going to happen is that it's going to be that that triggering moment for this powder keg that has just uh, that mm -hmm. has been built here. So yeah, oh, uh, sorry. So the speed oh, defense man. it's a difficulty five. Difficulty five. Um, well, I really have nothing to help me, so I'm just gonna spend a level of effort. I'm not fast. Uh, I mean, I'm not slow, but I'm not especially fast. Um, so I, I mean, yeah, I don't have any armor on. Does that help me in any oh, way? No, no, I, no I I'm sure so. I do have armor on. I'm just <laughs> okay. Um, let me go ahead and um, roll. I'm just gonna spend a level of effort because that's all I can really do to to help me on that. Okay. So that's bringing it down one, one step. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I need a 12 or better. 12 or better. <laughs> okay. Come on, Iris die. I believe in you. Or Opal, not Iris. Opal, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use an XP to reroll that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, because I I I rolled a one. Oh, oh my god. Oh, yeah. Do it. yeah. So I'm using an XP to re-roll that whole situation. Probably a good call. Um so I cannot believe I just rolled a one, you guys. <laughs> that is upsetting to me. And because you it's because you called the die by the wrong name. I know. Yeah, it was I upset. Inst <laughs> it's actually probably, yeah. Fair. <laughs> It's actually probably because you like lost. Oh my gosh, I rolled a 15. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so oh. there is a split second where you are oh, a shit. little bit, you're a little bit disoriented because you're like, wait a minute. I'm hearing that like I would hear Bina, but that's not Bina's voice. And mm -hmm. just at the last second, you hear this sort of like vague metallic buzzing sound. Um, and just suddenly you just drop to the ground as you hear the, the whistling sound of a blade just sort of right where your upper torso would have been moments ago. Um, and suddenly you are aware, you become aware that right next to you are a pair of black booted feet. Um, as you roll over and look up, um, <clears throat> you can see this figure standing above you um, with the like bringing the blade back around um in the reverse handed grip um and now we are going to roll this initiative check 
Jesus. Um, because luckily in thrall holds because, as long as you're just defending yeah, because yourself. Because a bunch of different things are about to happen all simultaneously. Oh, so. Okay. So uh, I hate this. <laughs> My heart can't handle this. Um. Okay. Uh, so the difficulty on this check is going to be five. I'm. I am trained in initiative rolls. Uh, yeah, from nice. the use my dexterity. Power shift. I'm gonna use my XP. <laughs> I just rolled and I got a nine. No, I'm gonna go with it. I wouldn't pay. That's eight. not good. Someone needs to defend Peach so she can hold and drop us. Somebody, please. <laughs> okay, Hang hold on. on. I'll roll. I'll roll. I, That's okay. But, I'm gonna roll. I'm, yeah, I'm gonna use my XP no, to roll no. again. <laughs> okay. I think. Natural fucking twenty. <laughs> yeah, eat me, mimic. I mean... God. <laughs> I mean, in that case, if, thank God if and for safe, all. I mean, nah, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. All right. Um, I don't know what to do. So, um, actually, no, I 20. do. I know exactly what to do. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna spend what we needed my, the most. I'm gonna spend an XP to also reroll. Oh my god! Yeah, if I get a twin at twenty, <laughs> oh god, Please, that would be I'm amazing. Going, I'm, I'm going to Vegas tomorrow. <laughs> yes, Literally, yeah. nobody will believe you, but <laughs> <laughs> no, I got a ten, okay. but I still beat my. Th- <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. I, okay, I, I, I'm not gonna. I'll go last. <laughs> Before I rolled, I was like, "This is gonna be a natural 20 and I'm gonna have no idea what to do. Here we are. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, you uh, you major effect initiative people. Um, uh, essentially, I'm basically what I'm gonna do. If unless you have something specific that you want to do with that, I'm giving you an extra action. So. Ooh. Oh. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's perfect. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, but um, decide amongst yourself. So everybody, everybody except Peach Beat Initiative, right? <laughs> okay. May- Freeman, you got it. Yep. I got, got it. Okay. Yeah. Knocked out of me. Cool. All right. Um, just, hey, just go ham if you have ideas. <laughs> so yeah, y'all can decide uh, what you're. I don't have do. any fun, exciting ideas. Okay, I guess what I do. So obviously, I said it before. I, I had put my gun down. Um, once I see that Entropy seems distracted, I'm going to fast step towards him and, in the process, like pick up my gun into my hand <laughs> and fast step towards him. Okay. So I'm right in immediate range. Sure. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, that's easy enough to do. Like you just, you literally, like you reach down, you scoop up your weapon, and as you do, you suddenly blink, and you're like blink out of existence and reappear, like right in front of him. And I'm gonna say, boo, and I'm gonna shoot you. Yes. <laughs> <Point blank>. yes. <laughs> Sick. Okay. All right. Terrifying. Yes. Um, so uh, go ahead and hold on. Let me just double check something here real quick. Um, <clears throat> Did research on point blank shooting, guys. It reduces the difficulty by one step. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Fast step. Okay, so the difficulty is. I just want to make sure that I know. That. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Difficulty here is. Um, yeah. No, that's uh, it's difficulty five. Um, is that including the? No, I didn't include anything. That's the default. Okay. So, so reduced I by am... one for point blank, right? Yeah. Okay. So, so point blank reduces by one. Mm-hmm. I'm trained in um, medium weapons, mm-hmm. and I'm we're gonna use my power shift. Okay. Um, so six or better. Okay. Yeah. So you're down to got it down to difficulty oh. two. All right. Let's see what you got. I'm going to use a reroll because oh, my oh, luck oh. is apparently isn't good. I rolled on that one. Oh. So. Yeah, it's balance. <laughs> balance in the. Oh I mean, yeah, it balanced out. Not turning that one. Yeah. Now you'll now you literally imagine. now you're back to normal. Yeah, yeah. eight, <laughs> eight. Reset. So I just me. Okay. <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah. So I just shoot him. Okay. Blank. Sounds good. Um, you said it's a medium weapon, right? Yes. Okay. What? Right, there it is. Okay. Um. Okay. Uh. So, the blaster goes off. Uh. Right into into uh Entropis, um, who like reflexively just sort of ooh, ooh, doubles over. Um, still unable to, like, take his eyes off of Peach. Um, but, like, you can see... Actually, Bina, you can feel it. You can feel just that rage just, like, boiling up inside of him. Um, <laughs> okay. 
Uh, that's, you get a second action. No, that, that was both of them. That was my first step. Yeah. Okay. Step and then, ah, yeah. Yes. Um, so, uh, Bean and Mason. Mason, do you have any ideas? What you'd like to do? Uh, nothing, nothing really. Like, Mason basically was just trying to analyze the situation beforehand leading up to this, and okay. probably will. How close am I to Peach? Uh, I assume you're sort of like right next to her. Um, we need I'll, to defend Peach. She needs to hold that throw. Yeah, 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 absolutely. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna like take out. I like lit up half like a half a smoke, and I just like flick it at Mimic Guy, and just like follow it up. With a punch. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> All Beck. right, go ahead. Uh, this will be a yeah. yeah. You get you get to choose uh, miter speed, and it'll be a difficulty. Oh, let me just double check if that's true. That's yes. not the right thing. Um, difficult. See, that's a difficulty five. Um, all right, I will choose speed. <laughs> all right. <laughs> um, and I will use, um, what is it? No need for weapons. Mm-hmm. Dope. Um, uh, that which will lower. Well, does that r- lower the difficulty? I think it just. Or does it just give damage? I think it's just a damage actually. thing. I think oh, it just gives yeah. damage to fists. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think it makes. You're the right. Fist it gives like... the fist the ability yeah. to do like. It, it lets, allows you to treat it as a light or medium weapon. It's, be, it's, it's sick. Be it is sick. very cool. Yeah. It's, it's sick. I had it in my in the one shot we did. Mm-hmm. Ugh, miss it. <laughs> uh, all right. Can I use dexterity then? Um, Power shift dexterity. Not on not on this, because right. this is this is an attack. So. Oh right right yeah. Mm-hmm. I will spend a level of effort to re- reduce it. I have an edge of two. Okay. Um, so I think technically, given the fact that you're, I think what we've done in the past is we've allowed technically, even though I don't think this is the way it's supposed to work, but we've oh. allowed, because you use the no need for weapons thing, we've kind of allowed it to count as a medium weapon. It counts that way for the purposes of damage, but training, I don't think, no, I don't think that's the way it's supposed uh, yeah. to work. I don't think that's the way yeah, it's supposed yeah. to work, so I think I'm right. not going to allow it this time. I think we did it in the past because it was sort of like a... We weren't sure. We weren't, we weren't sure it was going to be on the fly yeah. call, kind of call, but, so yeah. I don't think we're going to do that now. Because I think now it, we do know. Yeah. So <laughs> so you're spending a level of effort reducing it to a difficulty four, I think, right? Oh, Actually, I'll do two, two efforts. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sounds good. So difficulty so. three. So you need a nine or better right now. All right. Here, here goes. All right. 19. Ooh, that's a minor effect. Yes. So you can either nice. have a minor effect or you can choose what I think is it three extra damage? I think it's three extra damage on a minor. Yeah. On a 19. Like two or three. Yeah. I think it's, yeah. Because I think it's. F- Ooh. I think, yeah, because I think it's. Stun him. I think it's four. Take him out for a round. Not on a minor effect. Not on a minor effect? No. Oh, I thought you could. No, no, no. For no. Days. You can daze, no. which will, like, change oh, difficulty and stuff. But yeah. Um, so you could you could exchange it for damage, um, which I think I think it is three. Um, that's that's what I'm deciding right now. I'm deciding that it is three. I'm, I'm wondering. So, would a minor? You said it's a minor effect. Yes, minor. Would a minor effect maybe um, damage his his mask? Make it harder for him to see, maybe, and like. Yeah. Yeah, I could see that absolutely. Yeah. Which is kind of like a. Um, knocking him down a peg and like maybe visual yeah bit visual impairment that's perfect yeah mm-hmm. yeah that's perfect for a minor effect yeah sure okay so um hold on let me find <laughs> oh yeah find the uh the damage track i mean if it were a major i would just like try to make break his mask in half and right i yeah. want to know who he is oh <laughs> um <gasps> we don't find out who he is at the end of this interaction <laughs> so that's, uh, i will be <laughs> so rush medium weapon that's four points of damage and then the minor effect, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Correct. Okay. Um, <laughs> all right. So, Mason, you flick the cigarette at him, just whoom, bam, Matt, just this huge, just haymaker right towards the visor. And he's so focused on Peach that he just sort of just has time to look up and put a hand up, but not fast enough. And you just crack him across the visor, which you watch as this spider crack go out from, from the point where you hit him. Uh, and he stumbles back um, a moment and uh, sort of shakes shakes his head and just um, yeah brings brings the blade back around 
then flips it around into a, like a backhanded grip and then just sort of stands watching you. Um, Crock and a grin at the sound of punching. <laughs> like. <laughs> All right. I think theoretically you could move if you wanted to, right? Because you have that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Move right in between the two. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, perfect. Separating them. Yeah. You just, you just like take a couple of steps and are now, as you've like created a bit of space between him and Peach, you immediately just step into it. Um, like standing over Peach, like fists out and ready. Um, you see as he just sort of cocks, like cracks his neck, just sort of. Um, okay, Bina. The motorcycle outside right now. Um, okay. Here's what I'm, so am I at Jade? I said I was moving towards Yeah, you're basically like started. right in between where Peach is and where Entropis is. You're like right in between the two. Okay, so. Okay, here's, here, I'll tell you what my intention was with this turn and you tell me if it's possible with my net 20 because it's two actions, mm-hmm. but like you, it's, Movement is weird in Cypher, so I don't know if I'm allowed to do this. Um, I, so I would like to do an attack and then use my second action to reestablish blend in and place my shield and myself in between Jade and Entropis's hand. Okay. With, theoretically, will not see me because I am in, well, not, will put, attach no importance to my presence because I am blended back in again. Okay. Can I do that? So, sorry, go back over it. So the two actions are... Attack and reestablish blend in because okay. it takes an action to reestablish. And what exactly, the, the rules for reestablishing it are what? What does the ability say again? Uh, you can regain the remainder of the effect time by using an action to refocus. If what? Because say, so because I'm taking an attack. Right. No, no, but like, is, does it say there's there's like there's got to be like a like a provisional statement in there, right? Like so a, if here, you do the this, beginning. then you can do that. Right? Yeah. So uh, you're specialized in stealth and speed defense. It ends if you reveal your position by attacking or using ability or moving a large object, etc. You can regain the remainder of the effect time if you use an action to refocus. Okay. So that's what I'm asking if I can do that. Um. Yeah. Given that, I would say yes. Um. Because, okay, and sorry, remind me again. I know you just said it, but it lasts how it's long? Like, it's like a minute. Okay, so yeah. Like the, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. Pushing it, but you're like, yeah, I know. You're That's like why I'm like right <laughs> on the edge, but I'd say you'd still okay. have a, well, a little bit of time. Can I, can I table, can I confer with my party or is that not a lot? Is that too much table talk? Can I ask for an opinion for my player, part, fellow players? I'm going to say yes, that... but make it quick because this okay. is all like happening very like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Should I do that, or should I just try to deal as much damage as possible? Okay. That's the question. I think getting in between is is the best decision to 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 keep Jade safe. Okay, so I have my shield on my wrist, my my hollow shield or whatever. And I just want to get that in between his Entropis's hand and Jade's head. But before that, <laughs> okay. Um, Bina is like irate. Like I don't know if anyone has ever seen her so mad before. Definitely He's, not. Full, like protection mode. She's so mad that Jade is in danger right now. She hates that this is happening. She just wants to go back to, to her engine room, get back to the pilot seat. She hates this. Um, and so uh, she's as she's kind of moving around, she sees that Peach is in danger and she kind of like has like this like sp- the spark of emotions that she always feels. But with that, there's like a flare up of light kind of like in her focus in her chest area. And she kind of just like throws her all four arms out and towards it and there is with it there's like a wide beam of light that focuses and centralizes and comes uh like spiraling down at uh our mimic friend and i'm going to use burning light for the first time <laughs> <laughs> all right uh. all right <laughs> that's so sick oh my gosh what do i have to roll <laughs> um sorry so who are you rolling against mimic okay um that will be a, yeah, it'll be, a, I'm sure this is an intellect thing. So the difficulty on yes. that is going to be five as well. Cool. So I have power shift, two power shifts in it. Um, I have a free level of effort. Mm-hmm. Um, and I'm going to spend for one more. Okay. Just because I would like to do this. 
and get it down to one. Uh, I'm so nervous. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. This is so bad. <laughs> Twelve. Twelve. All right. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so yeah. So that. So that. That does it, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I got it down to a three. Okay. Cool. So. Um, or three or better. Um, so that does. Uh, you send a beam of light at a creature within long range and tighten it until the beam burns. It deals five damage. Okay. Um, say anything about armor. No. Okay. That's cool. All it says. So you watch as uh, this just sudden blast of light just sorry I forgot to take something into account but that's not important uh, it's not important now because you succeeded but the blast of light hits him full on as he turns towards you and he just goes like flying back into the bulkhead just slams into it Just you can see there's just like a smoking like burn on like the front of his chest plate as he like falls to the ground and like sword down like on basically on one knee sword point down like supporting himself as he goes to like try to push himself up. Um, I, think, I think after it happens, it like spirals, shoots, does this big explosion thing, and Peter goes, ah, and then like goes back into the <laughs> <laughs> All right. And that's my second action. I would like Whoa. to put myself between. Okay. Place my shield between Travis's sure. hands. Shield. Okay. Yeah. Not touching him or anyone, but just um, getting him. At this point, ah. it is, so the security personnel are at this point not going to go because basically there's a lot of friendlies in the line of fire or like at least at the very least priority targets that they are not sure. So right now, most of them are just sort of taking aim, like trying to f like figure out where to shoot. Um, They've been given no orders. People just started hitting each other. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so right now, uh, to their credit, they are maintaining their, their organizational discipline, but um, you can see that it's coming. Like they're, pretty soon they are not going to just sort of stand by. Um, so, first things first, um, the Mimic is going to, he's going to stand up, um, and he is going to, <laughs> yeah, uh, that's what he's going to do. <laughs> he is going to, um, <laughs> to, ooh, wait a minute. I'm so nervous. I know. <laughs> Not happy. Yeah, okay. So, he is going to... Um... <laughs> okay. He, he... I hate this, all of this reactions you're having to your own thoughts. I know. I know, it's not, it's not, um, it doesn't make me feel good. It's not cash money. <laughs> <laughs> um... He is going to uh, take, um, he's going to ball up his fist and Mason, I need you to make a speed defense roll. Uh, the difficulty on this is going to be five. Okay. All right, here, here he's coming. All right. So Got this. I am trained in the speed defense. Mm-hmm. And I use my dexterity power shift in there. Yep, brings it down Cross to a difficulty two, I think. And I'll roll with that. That okay. sounds fun. Six or better is what you got. All right, here we go. Stay on the table, though. 16. Okay. So um, you quickly just dart out of the way as um, just this forceful blast of energy just shoots from his hand. Um, this is actually not like you can see basically like this 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 blast of uh, blue black energy that just goes firing past you. This is not actually any of your abilities that he appears to be mimicking at the moment. Um, so you see as it just fires past where just where you would have been, and it just knocks a hole in in the uh, in the uh, uh, the bulkhead just a little way a little bit away. Um, that would have hurt a lot um <laughs> there's like this sort of whistling sound that you can hear kind of from somewhere and you're not really sure where it's coming from because kind of like in the in the moment everything um 
that is uh, his turn. Is basically he's gonna spend the rest of his turn just like standing back up, um, kind of holding that 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 hole in his chest, just in his chest plate. Um, brings the blade back around to a four-handed grip. Um, Peach, um, I'm gonna need you to make an uh, intellect defense roll with a difficulty okay. of <laughs> with a difficulty of eight as Entropis struggles against you. Okie doke. Um, intellect defense. Okay. Um, difficulty eight. Um, okay, so... Okay, what did I use before for this? Ah, okay. Um, I'm resistant to, like... I know this is because of Awakened Dreams is more of a fantasy ability. I'm technically resistant to charm, but would you say that that would apply to like a mental, <sighs> like, defenses. like a mental defense? Like if that's a defense against like a magical or like a supernatural like charm or effect, would that be a similar asset? It's, it isn't, yeah, mainly I don't because know. this <laughs> is more like him struggling against the effect that you put on. Oh, okay. Um, fair. Um, okay. Well, I do have uh, something that I didn't have in my notes on this sheet, but I had on my computer sheet mm -hmm. and then found was that I took at last hearing up, I took discerning mind, which would have been very helpful to have, um, in previous, in previous sessions, but discerning mind says you have a plus three armor against damaging attacks and damaging effects that target your mind and intellect. Um, okay. so Let's... that would help with, um, Wait, does that help? No, uh, not not in this case. Damn it. Because this isn't an okay. attack against you. This is literally just him trying to get out from under your your enthrall. Okay. Um, well, then I'm just going to use a level, level of effort. Okay. Um, to lower that. Um, and I'm just actually going to use multiple levels. Of, <laughs> no. Uh, do you I'm, have, do you, are you, uh, do you have power shifts in enthrall? I don't remember which abilities you have now. No, I don't have a power shift in, in Enthrall. Um, I never use Enthrall anymore because you always use Enthrall. Um, but I am going to um, spend a level of effort. Um, yeah, all I can really do is spend, I'm just going to spend two levels of effort. Okay. So it brings it down uh, to. Uh, which doesn't tank my intellect too bad. Right. So that'll bring it down to a difficulty six, which mm -hmm. is theoretically possible. <laughs> Yeah. Unlike the yeah. other two that you could have lowered it yeah. to. <laughs> 18 or better. Yeah. yeah. Did you math right? Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah, that was math. Okay. Um, okay. Well, um, we'll attempt to hold on to this enthrall, y'all. Okay. Man, I was so excited about Discerning Mind. I was like, this will help. And it did not. No, I rolled a nine. Take my XP. <laughs> Take my, la my last XP. Oh, are you sure? Absolutely. Okay. 100%. Okay. All right. Okay. 18 or better. It, it's a four. <laughs> so, um, you... Yeah, I'm not... On on the ground as you're like pushing yourself back to your feet um you look up and you can feel just the whole time you can feel Entropis struggling against you and at this particular moment you feel him just sort of rest away from your control as he as, his, as he shakes his head and looks around um he like the force of it just sort of causes him to sort of stumble back um and as he does, he he stumbles back onto the ground, onto the floor of the uh, of the corridor. Um, and as he looks around at all of the chaos that is breaking out, um, Bina, you're the closest to him. So you watch as he just ha like just a, a slow, deranged grin begins spreading across his face, um, and you just you just hear as he says, "That's all right." I prefer it this way. And he reaches out his hand, and that same kind of energy that had still been gathered up on, on, in his palm, and he presses it against the bulkhead. Uh, and you watch 
as right in front of you, just everything, like the bulkhead just starts rusting away. And as it keeps rusting, you can see it turning to powder. And as it does, you can hear that same whistling sound from before, from the attack that missed Mason, only now you're able to identify it. It's the sound of air escaping out into the vacuum of space. As in this, you watch as Entropis stands hand pressed against the bulkhead, decaying the whole thing. And the next thing you know, everything is silent, dead silent as the whole group of you, everyone in the corridor, gets sucked into the vacuum of space. <gasps> and that's where we're gonna go to our take our break. <laughs> what? We are doing what? <laughs> yeah, all right. We're gonna take our break. We It's pretty late, so we're gonna, late for our break, so we're gonna take this, and we're gonna be back here as soon as possible. We'll be back in just a second. Um, see you soon. <laughs> <laughs> and we're back. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Hello. Um, hey. Welcome back. Um, when... Hope everybody had a relaxing break. <laughs> yeah, nothing so can relaxing. go wrong ever. Yeah. Nothing. Great plans. <laughs> Re- remember back during the recap when I was like, yeah, that plan, they, they enacted their plan and it went off without a hitch. Everything went fine. Yeah. We're yeah, moving I remember to that, that timeline, timeline now. Yeah, we're going to jump to. Th- yeah. yeah. Uh, that's not <laughs> happening. Uh, when we left off, uh, in a rather dramatic turn of events, during a very close struggle with uh, with the... <laughs> Sorry, I just started laughing at the ridiculousness of the words that were about to come out of my mouth, which is the supervillain from the future who has the named Entropis. <laughs> That's the one. Right, that is yeah. the character that you brought yeah. into our lives. It sure <laughs> is. Um, <laughs> uh, him, as well as the power mimic who had been dogging their footsteps ever since... Zolotera, um, uh, and Tropis managed to break free of Peach's uh, enthrall ability, and in that moment turned, de- used his powers to decay the outer hull of the ship, sending everyone in the hallway out into space. But who will save us? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no. So everyone in the room, everyone. like even like everyone. Everyone. everybody. Okay. Yep. Okay. Um. An armored man. Yep. Everybody. All the security. Every single one of you. Everyone. I just realized what I need to do. <laughs> so, um. Good timing. As <laughs> pulling us, pulling us back in, um. <laughs> Uh, pulling us back in. Everything is dead silent. The chaos from moments before erupting around you just cuts out immediately. You feel a sensation, a lurching in your stomach of like the sensation of falling. And everything around you is just black except for intermittent portions of the hull of the of the ship that you were just on lit by exterior lighting and the distant stars um immediately um i would actually say Tayon, that in regards to what we were talking about off, off off screen i think it probably would just happen automatically it's a, it's sort of a sensor so essentially as soon as you your uh, environmental suit detects uh, the vacuum, it begins uh, from that sort of that sort of centrally placed uh, device in your chest. It just suddenly starts uh, spreading out over your body, um, and in complete with the with the helmet, and you find yourself drifting, careening away from the ship. Um, you can feel yourself moving and you can hear your own heartbeat in your ears as you are floating and floating away. Looking around, you can see other bodies flailing in the, in the lack of oxygen, careening out into space in different directions like shotgun blast. 
You see debris. You see dust. You see people. You... Your suit um, sort of zooms in on various individuals. But one... You stop it on one as you watch Entropis floating away, a manic grin on his face as he reaches up to the armor that he's wearing, which... uh, in a similar fashion to your suit, actually expands outward and creates a helmet over, uh, over his features. But you find yourself drifting, and drifting away. The ship shrinking with every passing second as you get shot out into space. And as you are drifting, there's a moment as you your brain sort of wraps itself around the situation there's a moment as you see in you remember Ada's face you remember her smile that glow that su- that laugh that she has every time she's uh, whenever she's teasing somebody and you watch with every moment your chance at seeing her again shrinking with the ship. What would you like to do? Um, holding on to that memory of her face, uh, I'm going to try and, I think, it triggers a memory a little the memory I had while just a little bit earlier the same day of her mimicking pet but every even um, the most important moments in history can take place in a couple of seconds and I want to see if I can repeat what I did just barely that day but backwards and jump backwards a couple a minute. Okay. I don't know how far back I can go, but I'm going to try and do that. <laughs> okay. So, um, I'm going to require a an initial cost for this, because this is sort of, you're manipulating your powers in a, in a way that you are not familiar with. Um, you've done it before, but n- shakily on purpose. Uh, so, the initial cost for this ability is going to be four from your intellect. Is even so, I can't use edge on that. Oh, you can, you can. The edge oh, okay. can, the edge okay, can cool. certainly eat some of that. Um, okay. Yeah. Uh, and then this will be a roll, an intellect roll, the difficulty of which will be five. Uh, okay. I'm going to. So did that? I'm assuming that initial spend that will count towards how much effort. I'd use as well, right? Yeah. So essentially, like okay. for the, for this for this one action, your edge will only eat out of like w- like it'll eat out of the total spend. One, the total. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, uh, okay. So it's five. Uh, I, I'm gonna use another two levels of effort um, to bump it down to three, and I think that's what I can do. Do you have any power shifts in any of your abilities? Like yes, but I'm assume I'm not not this one, no. Okay. No. No, I made a specific little onslaught. Ah, uh, okay, I'm nervous, okay. Okay. So right now you have it yeah. to, to a difficulty three, is that right? Yeah. Okay. So you need a nine or better. It's a get more or less a fifty fifty shot here. Nineteen. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Alright. I was gonna throw you XP. <laughs> so in that moment, as you see the ship, ship drifting further and further away from you, you picture her face, you picture her words, you hear them as if you're hearing her speak them to you in this moment. As you focus, you concentrate on the ship, on those moments before everything went wrong. And suddenly, you find yourself standing in a hallway on the ship 
you see everything as it was moments ago, everyone around you in those moments. You see um, <coughs> Entropis uh, turn to Peach and say, well, make your decision or I'll make it for you. Things begin playing out in front of you the way that they did before, with one key difference. This time, you know how this goes. What do you want to do? Uh, okay. I love this time is Jack, travel. This is Jack um, panicking. <laughs> Taeyeon is completely calm. Oh, <laughs> <Okay>. good. <laughs> <laughs> this is Jack. <sighs> okay. Um, uh, Okay. This is crazy. <laughs> and Can before you so th travel. sorry, just so that we don't forget, uh, because this is very important. You rolled a nineteen, which is a minor effect. Minor effect. Yeah. So, mm. if you have ideas for that, feel free to bring them now. Um. Uh, okay, I have. I have a stun grenades. <laughs> is would it be enough time to me for me to? <laughs> tackle and then i mean stun and then tackle or is was that is that more of a major the effect, effect have to deal with the action you just took or could you do mm, that i'll say technically this all has to do with the effect that you just that's did. fair this that's all true. is part of that yeah. yeah so like i'll allow it to apply to basically anything that you do here so so i, I can you can sorry say tell me again what you what you wanted what you asked so idea was um essentially to flash grenade and then fast step into a tackle <sighs> i don't know if that's okay yeah tell you what i'll say the minor effect will be that you got you got a chance to prepare some like to begin an action basically ahead of time so essentially you're getting it you're getting it like yeah so you'll be able to do that is what i'm saying being able to, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. <sighs> so, uh, you, um, having prepared for this moment, you look down into your hand and you can see the active, the the live flash grenade that is currently in your hand as it begins counting down. As you look up, everything almost sort of seeming to play out um, in slow motion around you. Um, what are you doing? So I think the flash grenade is like tight. It's very small. It's, it's like a die. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I think where he, he flicks it forward and the moment it goes off, he's going to fast up into a dive to tackle okay. and drop his off his feet. All right. So, um, Taeyeon, you rush forward, uh, blinking out in, in an instant, uh, leaving behind nothing but this single tiny uh, stunning explosive as it goes teetering through the air towards everybody. Um, and as you are pushing yourself forward, you just <laughs> blink out of existence. I'm going to have you make a roll. Um, this is going to be... Uh, I would I will allow this to be an... an hmm. I think I'll allow this to be an intellect roll, seeing as how basically you're trying to preserve your momentum through a blink. Um, yeah. And so, uh, yeah, the difficulty on this okay. is going to be, um, five, I'm gonna say the difficulty is gonna be four because he didn't see this coming. So, uh, difficulty is okay. four. Um, and this is the intellect. Uh, I'm gonna intellect. That's a the damn it. Um, yeah, I don't think I have anything to reduce this with. <laughs> I'm gonna roll with a four. All right, you gonna spend any effort on this one? Uh, I spent a lot already. <laughs> mm -hmm. I think I'm gonna save it. Okay. And just hope for the best. What do you uh, need a ten? Oh, Fifteen. Fifteen or better. Ooh. All right, you got you rolled a fifteen. Yeah. Okay. Oh. So here's how this <laughs> works. I, as you're all like preparing to go through the same steps, the steps that you did before, Peach, as you begin reaching for your enthrall ability, Bina, as you start kind of creeping forward, um, 
Mason, you're tensing up, ready to move at the slightest provocation. You see Mason out of the corner of your eye. You see Taeon suddenly kind of shift a little bit, and as you turn, you see as he tosses something into the air and then vanishes. Um, and as you look, you watch as he reappears just a couple of feet in the air, rushing towards Entropis, colliding full on with Entropis, knocking him back. Um, bo- both of them go tumbling backwards. Entropis unprepared for the mass that just hit him. They both go tumbling backwards. Uh, Taeon rolling free of Entropis, who just sort of like basically lands flat on his back. You can hear the <laughs> of like the breath getting knocked out of him as he hits the ground. Um, what are the rest of you doing? Oh God! I don't. I, I, I don't know if I can say this. I just want to be like, as I appear, I'm just going to shout "Flash!" Just so in case maybe <laughs> someone realizes what I. Oh right! What's about to happen. So <laughs> as this is as this is happening, Mason, you hear that and. So first of all, I'm just going to have everybody real quick make i uh, I'm going to have you make a might defense roll. The difficulty on it is going to be two. Might? Mm-hmm. What is this for? This is for the flash. <laughs> oh. I got a nine. Might. Mm-hmm. So I'm good. All right. So oh. Peach succeeds. Yeah. Might, the difficulty is two. So you just need a six or better. Dude, what, what do you, what do you. What Bina, I'm going to allow your, your train, your training and I things. Oh, okay. So you don't so have. What's the. What's difficulty was two, so. Oh no, I have yeah. three. I'm good. Okay. All right. I was like trying to figure out what was like might with my eyes. Wait. <laughs> I was confused okay. too for a bit. But yeah. I rolled. Uh, didn't roll well. <laughs> uh, roll. Take my experience point. <laughs> it's my fault. You have to do this, guys. Take it. What'd you roll? Oh, oh I rolled a two. You rolled a two. Yeah. Take oh. my experience point. Oh. Okay. Re-roll. Oh. Okay. Oh. All right. All right. All right. Thank oh. you. I sh- I was just trying to f- uh, also wonder if there's anything I can do for this. Probably not. Nope. 11. Okay. So, in this instance, all of you um, reacting very quickly. You don't know what's happening, but you just hear you just hear the words flash, and you're not sure what is happening, but instinctively you just... Like Peach, you just instinctively shield your eyes. Bina, you actually see it going, and you like. Yeah, quickly I don't put, think she looks. Yeah, you, I don't even know if she looks away. Like, yeah, you quickly put it together. She's like, what? Like, huh? What? And and uh, <laughs> Mason. Uh, so basically, here's how this happens. In that instant, you just watch as just this bright flash goes, and Bina, re- like having seen this happening, you just sort of like reach out and very suddenly, like it just sort of. Like the light just sort of bends yeah. around you. <laughs> you just sort of bend the light around yourself. Mason. I think her uh, eyes also are just like adapted to like. Yeah. Well, like, that's exactly what happens to Mason. Bother her. That's exactly yeah. what happens to Mason. As once again, uh, in, Mason, you your eyes develop develop that like suddenly suddenly everything goes dark, uh, as they like develop that sort of protective shielding. Um, Ball visor. Yeah, and everything just sort of goes, just bright for for a second. And as soon as it's over, uh, y'all, y'all are looking, and you can see all of the security are standing there, like they're uh, holding, like their, like their eyes. One of them, you can see, takes off his helmet and starts trying to like blink, blink away. You can see his eyes are streaming um, as he's just sort of trying to like see anything. Um, so, so what does this mean for our like? How does like for those of us who haven't time traveled? Right. What does this mean for our stat pools? Um. Yeah, oh, you. Yeah, that's that's true. a good point. Yeah, you basically you would all go back to exactly where you ha- where oh, you were before. Oh my god. Mm-hmm. Yep. Thanks, Taylor. Okay. <laughs> that is something. Yeah. Good call. Oh. I didn't even think about that, but you're absolutely right. Huh. Yep. So is this before or after I used my cipher? This is after. After. Okay. So yep. cipher's gone still. But what that means is that it's before you use the cipher, or after you use the cipher, but before Peach actually made use of it. You didn't think. Oh, you have a next. So she still oh, has cool. the, the reduction. So you still have the cipher. You have the oh, three step. Oh, I still have. You the- still have your next thing yeah. that you do. You can choose to take that a three step reduction. That makes me very happy. So make it count. <laughs> okay. We have to roll for initiative again. No, or don't. Do you no, keep- just act is what I'm saying. So go. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um. Well, then Venus just fucking. I just want to go and grab. The, the two prisoners and just run. <laughs> yeah, you grab their just hands. Them out both of, of them, both of them are also like kind of eyes closed, stumbling, mm-hmm. but like neither of them resist. They just kind of. Like... I, while I'm running, if you'll let mm-hmm. me, because of my 
because of encouragement, can I clear their vision? Sure. Yeah. Sure. Because it's I can they can gain an asset in yeah uh, any that. task. I'm really, I just want I want them to be able to move yeah. and get out of here. No so I, that's all I'm doing. I'm just taking them and running. That was gonna be my next action before we were jettisoned into space. So taking it now. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We're all right. going. So they, the the two of you like you you reach out to them and they're you watch as they're both kind of like blinking and trying to and suddenly they both stop and look directly at you. You, you grab their hands go. and start Let's running. Go. Um, yeah, gone. Our back around the corner, we came <laughs> like gone. <laughs> um, Where's M- mimic mimic guy? Um, so he yeah. is currently um, has he's has stumbled back, and you he has actually interestingly has started kind of backstepping towards where the rest of the security are. You can see that like he's his head is sort of on the swivel, um, but he's definitely stepping back towards where security he's, is. He's retreating mm-hmm. from us. Yeah. Um, there's a moment in, um, yeah, as uh, actually, let's go ahead and I'm, I'm gonna have y'all uh, act first. So Bina did hers. Who's next? Um, I would Mason would have followed up with what he was gonna. What I did is like punch mimic. the mimic. Okay, he's he's. But it, it's retreating. Yeah, he's then. a fair distance from you now. Like, now he's I'm like, gonna... yeah. Hmm. Uh... I mean, you technically have movement if that's something you really want to do, but if there's something yeah. else that you can think of, you can do something else. As yeah. Well. I, um... I, uh... I, mean, I go to flick, and then I put it back in my mouth, and I kind <laughs> of... Re- <laughs> I kind of... Re- I, I look at Peach, and... Kind of just like retreat just a little bit, but stay next to her. Yeah. Uh. So it. So are you grab? Is B- Bina is? Are you grabbing Jade and um and 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 What's Zlodian? her name? I didn't write it down. <laughs> um, Liara Lai. What, what? It's Liara Lai. Liara Lai. Yeah. Has a what has a has Avril been doing the stuff only thing, that we? No, there's been not there hasn't been an opportunity. But at this point, Avril okay. has like leveled her like the pistol towards the security. Um, and is currently, like, firing above their heads, which is, like, causing many of them to just, like, in addition to not being able to see, they're, like, ducking down and, like, Ah. yeah. Um, So she's basically just firing above their heads, and, like, they don't know where she's aiming, so they're just all, like, completely subdued at this point. Um, The security is? Yeah, basically. Okay. Um, Yeah, so... Yeah, what are, you, what are you doing? Mason, you're sort yeah. of, like, backing up, basically, like, right? Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll pop off a few non, non-threatening non shots, just the kind that'll, like, help cover. Sure, sure, okay. As, as so Mason retreats. Mason and Abriel backing up, starting to, like, provide covering fire for your retreat. Uh, so, Peach, what are you doing? Okay, um, so everyone at this point is kind of making like the move to to retreat from this situation, yeah. right? By that's this, by that's this point, kind of the, the move right. is what so, I'm getting from everybody. I'm fucking running. Okay, so every, I'm, just, I'm just check. I'm just vibe checking. Okay. I, mean, I will <laughs> say Taeyeon doesn't seem like he has any. He yeah. doesn't seem to be having. He doesn't want to leave. He's, he needs to deal with this. Okay, um, so with that and seeing Taeon kind of tangled up with this eye, um, <sighs> recognizing the mistake I made trying to engage the armored man before. Um, oh, I don't think we, we don't. Do we, we no, this, yeah, is, this is from before, before. Before. Oh, earlier. No, no, no. no yeah. Like oh, previously, oh, like in, in our earlier interaction. Oh, yeah. um, I'm instead of trying to like particularly engage him, I am going to just. Um, try to to knock him out i'm literally just gonna kind of go up and say i'm i'm not doing a pissing match today good night and I, i'm literally <laughs> just just using that plus three ability um oh. to roll oh. I, i'm gonna literally try and, and, and um, knock him out for for as long as possible okay uh, but i'm just late sleepy time all right so um I will, sorry, before before you do that, I am going to give you a quick lay of 
the land situation here. So that because these are, I'm gonna make you aware of like the situation. Because basically right now, okay. um, Taeon is right smack in the middle of everybody. Entropis, the security, who while at the moment are uh, subdued, probably won't okay. be that way for long. Um, okay. The right, like the the mimic guy is starting to kind of back up, kind of watching all of this kind of go to shit around him, starting to back up. Taeon doesn't show any signs of leaving. Um, like as as both he and Entropis have rolled away from each other, they're like both on the ground still, but like dead eyes dead locked on each other. Okay. So, I mean, I will say, I this is all context I should have given you before you said what you were going to do, but I am giving it to you now, and yeah, if that changes anything, I don't know, but it's up to you. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, seeing. Uh, okay, yeah, okay. Entropis is kind of the biggest danger in this situation, I think, um, with, the, with the power that he has. <laughs> okay. Um,. I am going to attempt seeing Taeon in trouble um, and seeing that our allies are kind of going out of the room. I want to um, <sighs> okay, um, I am what. going, tell I'm you, sorry, I'm, I'm totally... I'll tell you what, there's other information that I can give you, but I might make you roll for it, and it won't count as part of your action here, it'll just be additional information to, like, sort of, because you basically what's happening right now is you've got, like, split seconds to make a decision, and mm -hmm. you're trying to make the best one possible, and so you're trying to get kind of a lay of the land, as it were, mm -hmm. so I'll give you, I'll give you a roll to kind of, like, maybe get a little bit more information which might help you make a decision so uh would that just be an intellect yeah role? this this will be an intellect role um i'd say the difficulty isn't particularly high it's probably a difficulty three okay um i don't have particularly like training in this but having had to make like snap decisions and in, in lots of different circumstances and like you know, kind of in political discussions and in previous interactions, would that kind of give sure. me an asset? I'll, the I'll fact give that you, I've, I've had lots of experience with that. I'll give you that, like, the, the oh-so-rare plus one um, for, like, for your role for, like, familiarity with, like, these kind of tense situations, if not specific okay. training in it. So, okay. yeah. Okay, cool. Um, then I am going to roll because if it's an intellect roll, I have a, I can just use a free level of effort, so that knocks it down to yeah. two, two. Uh, difficulty two, and then the plus one. Right. So I just need a five or better. Right. I say just, but you know. Yeah. Okay. I rolled a three. <laughs> oh. Okay. Uh. I will give you my last experience point. <laughs> okay. No, 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 that's okay. I have an experience point. I can go ahead okay. and I, I can use my own to re-roll that. I'm going to re-roll just because I really want some extra insight sure. on this situation. Um, so yeah, this is a tense one. situation that's like... Uh, I rolled a five. <laughs> oh, Jesus. So five or better. <sighs> oh, the plus okay. One, so. All right. So... Um... My rolls have been shit <laughs> these past two games. So here's here's what you what you do. It's like... Similar to Tan, it's like your adrenaline kicks in and like everything almost seems to slow down as you take in everything in much more detail than you would than you would normally as you just sort of survey the whole thing. And everything I described before, uh, you, you see that in the moment. You see the security who are slowly starting to blink the, the, the flash out of their eyes um, and starting to like get a, a, a grip on the situation. You see uh, the mimic starting to like, re starting to retreat, looking around um, you're not sure whether he was affected or not by the f by this by the flash grenade. Um, you can, but you can see him taking a couple steps back, drawing sort of level with, um, actually, actually, literally stepping over Taeon going to go kind of back a little bit towards the end of the hall. You see, Entropis and Taeon 
both rolled onto their stomachs and kind of up on their elbows, staring at each other, both of them tensing to, to rush each other. Um, and then you catch sight of something that you didn't notice before. I mentioned before that every so often, maybe 50 feet or so of corridor, there is sort of one of those larger um, sort of outcroppings that sticks out a little further from the wall. Um, and as you're looking, that that's just as true as of this hallway. And as you're looking at that one, you can see on this side of you, first of all, you note, like, you note the fact for the first time, as it hasn't been important before now, that each of those looks like an emergency bulkhead um, for sealing potential hull breaches and things like that. And as you look, glance over, you can see where the emergency release for it is, just a few feet from you. Um, that, um, as you're looking at it, you gather that if you're able to get to it, and pull it at the right moment, you can put a door that is intended to contain the vacuum of space between you and them. Oh, I like that. Okay. Um, the only problem is that Taeon is still on that side of it. Okay. Um, so... Because I have the ability to read surface thoughts, mm -hmm. um, would I be able? Uh, no, I can, I'll just I'll just say it. I was like, I want to quickly communicate to him, like, um, like disengage. Basically, is what I want to do. I want to just like um, kind of. I want to use my turn to do two things. I want to. Um, if using Enthrall is the way to accomplish this, I can use Enthrall to do it, but I basically want to allow Taeon a moment to disengage and back up so that we can go ahead and, and pull that switch and, and, and shut the door. Um, so I, I think mechanically, I want to use Enthrall to hold or to not Enthrall, that didn't work very well last time. Um, I want to go ahead and use my action to just, go, literally just to go up and, and say, Hey on, we need to get out of here now. Back away. I have an idea. Like just like literally just use my entire action to get him. And if he looks like he's not listening to me, um I don't know. I I, I want to see his reaction. Does he if I go up and say that, what does Taeon do? Uh, yeah, what does Taeon do? <laughs> That's I mean, I was like, I, I can do stuff, but I just want to talk to him to tell him yeah. to leave. Um I will uh, I feel bad for being that player. No, it's okay. But what do you what does Taeon do? But Taeyeon won't go. He wants yeah, to end he, this. He doesn't even look yeah. at you, Peach. He starts climbing to his knees, and Trop is sort of mirroring him as the two of them start standing. Okay. Um. Um. I'll take I'll take a quick second. Mm -hmm. Um. Actually, go ahead. Actually, Olivia, go ahead and tell me what you're doing. Okay. Um, I was gonna say, seeing that he is pretty set, I'm gonna do the next best thing to buy some time, and I'm gonna create a big old stinking distraction. Um, I'm gonna use um, Dreamcraft, and with kind of my latest tier, I have the ability to make stuff pretty, pretty solid, pretty realistic looking. Um, so I'm gonna make like literally as big of an image as possible of like warped but like bigger and scarier looking like like warped that are like ten, like nine feet tall that like go up and and are kind of um as many as i can make in this space i want to put them like in between kind of where we are um and where the guards and kind of where um around where Taeyon is like literally just all interspersed is Jake um, the flash grenade and suddenly there's 40 more to <laughs> Yeah, like, like in the flash, like like as many as I can make. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, there's an I explosion mean, and then the hallway is full of zombies. <laughs> I, will, I will spend if you want me to spend to make it like extra big, but I do have a power shift in specific. No, I'm not like, going to worry about that. So. Um, 
because it as so as Caitlin scary. correctly pointed out, it is startling enough that for once they can't see for a few seconds, and when they can, all of a sudden there's just these big fuck off space zombies, <laughs> effectively, yeah. that are just. I I, I, I kind of want to make them look so like the people in the room, okay. like a couple like a couple look like yeah like like just yeah. totally just scare the shit it's out of It's easy enough to do as several of the guards remove their helmets to like try to blink away the the effect of the flash grenade. <laughs> and then their faces. Across yeah. From them. So as you, I want a T-shirt that says "Big Fuck Off Space Zombies." <laughs> <laughs> um, as you, uh, as you see this happen, um, this might actually sh- be something that would shake at least Entropis's uh, attention. Uh, but I don't, I don't know about Taeons. But very suddenly, there are just these big fuck off space zombies <laughs> in the corridor. Um, the guards start panicking and firing wildly at them. Um, most of them still haven't quite fully regained their vision, so they're like firing wildly and erratically past them. Um, as Entropis's attention shifts very like momentarily to like to these massive creatures that are now making their way menacingly down the hallway. Um, Taeon, what are you doing? I'm firing at them. I'm gonna use onslaught. Actually, I'm gonna hit them with onslaught. Okay. Um, <laughs> go ahead and make a roll. Um, intellect difficulty five. Um, so I have a power shift in onslaught, mm-hmm. which you can apply it either to the roll to reduce difficulty, or you can re- apply it to damage. Uh, to the five, right? Yeah, difficulty's five. I'm gonna apply it to damage. Okay. I'm gonna hit. I'm gonna hit them hard. Um. Ah, uh, in that case, I'm gonna. I'll use. Uh, I'll use effort. Okay. And bump that down. I'll use one double effort. And I'm just gonna hope for the best. All right. So you have it to difficulty four now. Is that where it's at? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you just need. You need a twelve or better. Thirteen. <laughs> what did you get? Thirteen. Oh, okay. Oh. So what's what damage does that do with that power shift? It's an additional um, three with the power shift, so. Yes, so it is, oh, I think it's, yeah. uh, I think it's seven damage. <laughs> so yeah, seven, I'm going with physical, so seven physical damage. Okay. And what it basically looks like is, um, again, he kind of pulls out some parts of his armor and it's like little spiked cow chops and um, his hands like glow and Ouroboros kind of, uh, not Ouroboros. Northern Aurora Lights, Aurora it. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> that Sorry. I'm in, in another game. I have an Ouroboros kind of thing going on. It's very confusing. <laughs> okay. Great. And then and then the car chops kind of glow that, um, that color as well. And he throws it at, um, at Entropis. And as it travels, it gets faster and faster and faster. Mm-hmm. Slams into Entropis. And then he reverses it back into his hand and throws it again. <sighs> each, so each time yeah. he throws it, it's one point of damage, just essentially. just taking this metal object and just accelerating it through time as it goes flying repeatedly into Entropis, who just takes the hits. You can see the armor, the armor plate denting as it's hitting him, as he's just going back and like stumbling back, taken off guard, first by just like his lack of attentiveness and second by these repeated time accelerated blast into his chest as he goes like off of, off of his balance, kind of falls backwards. And at that moment, before you're able to advance Taeon, you watch as he starts regaining his footing, and just as he does, you watch as he very suddenly stops. Motionless. It takes you a second to see exactly what happened, but as you start kind of in a, a moment of confusion staring, you can see that there is a fine sword blade that is just right coming, poking out from the front of his throat. And looking behind him, you can see unnoticed by anybody the 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 individual in head to toe uh, tactical gear with his blade now through the back of Entropis's neck um so if your powers did he see what happened as he just stands there and leans down um and he says I'm sorry this was never your plan uh he says he just says you've become a liability um 
and you can just see Entropis's shock as he's just sort of. Um, Peach, you just watched this whole scene play out. Uh, and it's not that you didn't notice him get, getting behind Entropis. It's just that he just was, he was Blend there. In. Yeah. You attach no importance to his presence. Yeah. Boo. Sorry, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. Okay. Oh my God. <laughs> there's a moment as, there's just sort of a beat as everybody sort of, everything stops as the security all like look at each other. Gradually, Taeon, you become aware that they are starting to become aware of you. What are you doing? With me again. <laughs> yeah. I think right now he's very much in tactical mindset. One threat is dealt with, he's going to deal with the other ones. Hmm. Um, so I'm going to use... So under his breath, he's just like, I was hoping to show her this on our first mission together, but I guess we're going to do it here. And I'm going to use that homebrew, <laughs> homebrew ability we, we need to figure mm -hmm. out. Um, so basically, it, I, I'm very happy with the name. I made it up and I'm very proud of it. What's it called? I'll describe what, it's, I'll describe what it does first and then I'll say what okay. it is, the name of it, and then you'll, you'll get right. where I'm going. Yes, yes, yes. yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. For a moment, you purposely destabilize your position in space-time, becoming a living probability wave. You split off into multiple versions of yourself from probable futures and alternate, alternate pasts, only seconds out of sync with your present self. For, uh, for every three intellect points you spend, you can create an extra temporal clone. If you use your action to attack, they all can. For each duplicate that is attacking, um, add one attack's worth of damage to that um, damage, total damage dealt. And I called it me, myself, and time. Yes! <laughs> yes! That's, so cool. that's perfect. Yeah, dude. All right. Yeah. I love time travel. Huh. When it's working so, in our benefit. I think this is, um, at this point, he's, the moment he saw Entropis get killed right in front of him, it caught him off guard. And immediately, um, that same energy as you've seen him time and time again starts coming off of him when it, it starts to get grow larger and it, it ends up being like a, a full-on pillar from the from him to the very top of the ceiling and then all of a sudden the pillar starts to split and then there are i want to spend six internet points so there's so there um yes yeah, so i automatically get three um two duplicates and then i'm going to spend uh no i'm going to spend one i'm going to spend three internet points and then so i get Three duplicates and myself, so four. Okay. Four Taeons essentially appear, and they all just one charges toward. I don't know if I'm allowed to do this. I'm allowed to do this. Can one charge towards the mimic and the other three charge towards the card? Sure. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And I'm. They're all gonna attack. Okay. So go ahead and we're what we're gonna do is it's gonna be one attack roll for all of them, and you. Ooh, okay. And basically then it's gonna be weighed against the different difficulties. So. Yeah. Um. Go ahead and, um, for the sake of, actually, since it's going to be against different difficulties, I won't, I'm not going to, like, say the difficulty, and, because it, because it's a couple of different ones, so just go ahead and just give me stuff that you've got. <laughs> okay. Um, I can't remember, did we agree to power shift into the ability, would that affect me attacking, or is this specifically for, like, the fact that I'm shooting, so I have to use my shooting stuff? If I remember correctly, the power shift in it is what allows you to start out with two by default, correct? Yes. Yeah, that's, that's true, what it yeah. is. So, so okay. So I'll use my training and because um, yes, it is that because yeah. uh, the power shift effectively is like uh, it is like a free level of effort, which is like a cost yeah. three, so it's the same amount. Yeah. So. Yeah. Okay. So I'll go. With, um, I'm trained in medium weapons. Yes, that will definitely reduce. <laughs> um. Uh. Uh. Oh, I also got a power shift in medium weapons. There you go. So that will also so it's two reduction right now. Um. Uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> and this is a tune would be speed, so I can yeah I have a lot of speed in my pool. Um. Yeah, I'll use a level of effort. Okay. To lower it again. So it's a three reduction now. Three reduction. Um. 
I got a lot. I'll use all three effort. <laughs> I'll um I use another yeah to another two effort to bump it down okay. again. So that's um, so that's a four reduction. I think is where you're at right now. Um, I'll shift it and training, and then I'm gonna use um three levels. Oh, three of levels of air. So it's a five reduction. Yeah. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, you actually don't have to roll. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> can I still roll? You can, yes, absolutely. A nineteen? I don't hit that much. <laughs> it, it does. That's a minor effect. Minor effect. <laughs> okay, yeah. Holy so you can shit. you can either have a minor effect or you can uh, trade it for I think it's three damage is what we decided. Yeah, I'm gonna put on. three damage, and if I have to choose between who I'm gonna put into the mimic. Okay. Um. So, um, you watch Peach from fairly close and everybody else from a slight from a distance away this is a real crowded room right now yeah <laughs> as Taeon just starts like this it turns into this pillar of of like of chromatic light as then all of a sudden he starts splitting into three additional selves who all turn and in a like simultaneously turn in different directions and just begin firing it's like oh wow you're watching Taeon make a decision and then watching in real time as that decision plays out several different ways, um, as he f begins firing in all the in every different direction, several of the guards like fall to the ground, um, like cl like clutching wounds, basically fully incapacitated, just like. Um, but by far, the damage, the worst of the damage that is done is uh, so. What's the total amount of, of damage with the uh, with the minor effect? Um, so on um, our mimic, that's seven points of damage. Okay. So you watch. Wait, yeah. Yeah. So all of all of that damage just fires into as as Taeon Prime fires into <laughs> the into the into the mimic, who for the moment had not been paying attention to you, and all of it catches him full in the chest. And even though the previous major damage to his armor happened in a different timeline, it's there once again. Um, as like as you blast a hole in in like a smoking hole in the in the chest plate of his tactical gear, as he stumbles back and catches himself ag against the bulkhead, uh, and Tropis and like sword and all both go down, clattering to the ground, uh, as he basically like like falls back sort of tangled up, tangles in the other guards, like the other security that are there. Um, Taeon, you look around and you see, you see an opening. <laughs> uh, yeah. If I see, I, I can't remember, at this point everyone's ran, or at least seems like mm -hmm. most people have ran. Yeah, Peach is the only one who's close to you at this point. Yeah, I'm the only one that's still kind of here. <laughs> I think I slowly, I start backing away, I look to Antropis. I guess he's dead. Yeah, you watch as he's as he like th as he is on the ground, like unable to move. Basically, like sword point still through through uh, through him, looking up at you from the ground. And you watch as he's as he's watching you back away. You watch as you watch the life leave his eyes as his as his eyes just sort of go sort of to the side and look towards the look towards the the floor um, as you're backing away. Yeah, have to be this way and i'm just gonna turn mm -hmm. and run back all right peach the rest. you see as taeon runs towards you drawing up level with you um and as you watch all of this just take place you see as the mimic sort of very very gingerly starts disentangling himself from everything and stands and starts kind of slowly like not even looking at you head down like moving towards you like taking a couple stumbling steps and just falls down to one knee hand on on the like just on the wall as he just sort of looks up at you um still like fully helmeted just sort of head up looks directly towards you is he touching the wall like the side of the ship again hmm? no he's just like, he's just supporting himself right now okay. holding onto the this is the mimic yeah this not, is the mimic not, not a yeah. yeah no 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 i know but i'm just saying <laughs> yeah <laughs> has a travis's power probably yeah yeah so we will we don't know and travis is dead no we don't know if the power continues to exist i'm gonna um how weak does he look he looks pretty battered 
Um, but he doesn't he doesn't look incapacitated. He looks like he could he still has some fight in him right now. He looks like he's basically just been like dealt a huge <laughs> a huge blow and is currently recovering from it. But okay. Yeah. Um. So uh, Tayon, have you backed up to the? I mean, you don't know where where the the door is probably, but well, at this point, he's back... drawn up level with you, basically. Okay, cool. Yeah. So, um, I am going to. I really, I, I really, really, really want to find out who this guy is. I really want to find out who this guy is, guys. Um, so I'm gonna kind of. Can, can I reach? Where the switches and still like be close enough to use like a, a dream thief like a dream thief ability yeah would i be able to both okay because what i want to do is i want to have us both ready to like leave like say you know hey on step out of like step out we're leaving mm -hmm. but then also with a hand on the switch i want to attempt to use dream thief okay and and basically my goal is not to just purely do damage, but I want to I want to specifically try um, with Dream Thief I can steal like a bit of like memory or I, I wanna I wanna see what his face looks like. I wanna try to do that again now while okay. it's weakened. Um would the cipher that that Bina used on me, would that go into effect for this roll? Yep. Because I haven't used it yet? Yes, it would. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Yep. So, so the the roll, the difficulty on this roll, uh, this is this would be a difficulty six, um, but it's automatically reduced three steps to a difficulty three. Okay. I mean, I still want to do the damage, but mm -hmm. you know, it's it's mo I, I, that's the, the key fact that I want to find out with sure. the Dream Thief. Okay. So, All right, so it's reduced to three. Yeah. Um, I have a power shift in Dream Thief. Um, so that'll knock it down yep. a step. Um, I have a uh, free level of effort um, that I will <laughs> be one. using. Mm -hmm. um, and then I'm going to, you know, believe it or not, I'm going to spend a level of effort <laughs> to reduce that. All right. That brings Throw. it to nothing. You don't have to roll. Do you want to? <laughs> if I get a natural one, well, does that... Does that matter? Yeah. It does. Yeah. yeah, it does. I'm going to say no <laughs> okay. because I've been rolling like Fair shit enough. tonight. <laughs> Fair enough. I would have made the same call. So um, <laughs> especially with the, uh, I think there is a dearth of XP amongst the group right now. So uh, <laughs> I don't know. We've used them a lot tonight <laughs> too. Lot. Um, so uh, at this point, um, Peach, once again, you find yourself drawn into that, into that, sort of dream space that you've become accustomed to, just like you did on Zolotera the first time you faced off against this individual. Only this time, this time things are different. He's not in as good a condition as he was back then, and you're stronger than you were then. And this time you're ready for his defenses. As he reaches them up, just his mental defenses come up, not in time. You batter them aside effortlessly and pursue. As you reach forward into this person's mind, you find yourself standing once again in, uh, in just sort of a sea of, emo of of memories and visions blurring past you. A lot of them, you're not sure which ones are yours and which ones are his as they just continue to blur past you every once in a while, focusing on one and, and, and then stopping for just an instant and then zooming past once again. Until finally you find yourself once again standing on that balcony overlooking your favorite park as you look over the city that you grew up in, looking across all of that, the traffic in the sky, everything. You turn and you see this person, this armored individual, riot gear, head to toe, stepping towards you. But as you do, you're looking and you watch as like fingers, like the, the fingers of the gloves start peeling away from him very slowly as you watch the, the, uh, the uniform starting to recede, almost as if you are willing it away, watching it disintegrate in front of you as short as shreds and tatters of cloth and armor start uh, start sort of flying off in a non-existent wind just past him. And in a moment, as this all continues, you see as the reduction goes higher and higher to the neck, raising up past the helmet as you see the helmet going off in flakes, just 
disintegrating. And the first thing that you see are eyes. Your eyes looking back at you. But they're not your eyes. They're his. As you stand watching in front of you an Anzalonian man, a little younger than you, standing looking directly at you. His hair sort of a little a little long, just past the, the, the line of his jaw as he looks up at you. And there's this moment as the two of you staring at each other in this bound in this infinite moment as both of you just share this moment. And even though you know the process that he's been through, you know all the conditioning, all the shit that Silverbreak put him through to bring him, to make him this person, the person who just murdered someone, deservedly or not, in front of you. And yet you feel a spark, a spark of familiarity, of recognition. And in that moment, as you pull back out of yourself, the there's this moment as you are finding yourself once again on the on the ship, reaching up for the lever. You, as you're pulling it, you reaching reaching up to pull the lever. The you can hear the mechanisms clank uh, into place as as you pull that. As the door begins sliding shut, you can see as he looks up, and you just hear the very last thing before the door slams shut completely. You just hear him go, Bell, wait! And the door just swing, clangs shut. Is, 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 um, is Becker there? Mm-mm. Becker's not there. We need to get. We need to get out of here. We I need- think at this point, Bina comes skittering back around the corner, and she's like, "Let's go!" <laughs> You're feeling extreme distress. You probably have never felt this kind of emotion coming from Peach. Like she's mm-hmm. usually very contained. Um, she is like, <laughs> she's not holding it together well. Um, I didn't want to interrupt combat because I didn't think Bina would have made it back in time to do anything, anyways. But after about like a hallway or two when she realized that people weren't coming, she would have stopped the two of them, grabbed, like, grabbed Jay by the shoulder, she said, do not argue with me, take, she puts both of their hands together, go, 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 just, like, and starts, like, shoving them down the hallway and turns around and gets back, so I think, I wouldn't have, with my movement as my action, I wouldn't have been able to be involved in combat anyways, but I think that's when running pat Running back, you pass Abriel, who's just, like, in full flight in the opposite direction as you're running back, and she's just like, where are you going? (laughs) <laughs> Where is everyone? <laughs> just Mason's gonna follow Bina. Yeah. Uh, so like, you, no. Yeah. You then pass Mason, who's coming around the corner as you rush back. Oh, past. What are you, um. Oh, damn it! Uh, <laughs> run, <so> run. <laughs> Um, is Tan running too? Yeah, at this point is when, as you come around the corner, that's about the point where you see Tan like splitting himself. Is when you come back around the corner. Okay. Um, you watch all of this play out in front of you, and you watch as Tan retreats from the situation. Peach hesitates for a moment and pulls the, the lever. Bina, you're able to quickly put together like what sh- what Peach is planning. You can't mm-hmm. figure out why she's hesitating. And then you watch as she finally pulls that lever and the whole door, like the uh, emergency bulkhead just seals. Um, Bef- b- before the connection becomes mm-hmm. untethered between between me and him, I just, I just want to, I just want to c- communicate the message. I'll be back for you. You don't feel anything. Yeah. Um, you turn and see Bina staring like wide-eyed, in, like her here. big eyes just staring directly at you. Um, we need to get out of here. Yes, we do. And she kind of reaches out <laughs> with her both of her hands, like, with her uh, left hands, and grabs your arm with both of them and starts yeah. running full tilt you, back down the hallway. You run, um, catching up with uh, with Mason and Taeon as you run, as all of you turn and start running down the hallway. Um, the the opposite corridor that you. Uh, the corridor opposite the one that you used to get here as you're rushing past, you can see Abriel and ahead of her, Jade and, uh, and and her sister. And then behind you, you hear the sound of like doors opening as you turn and you can see a whole like division of security that are just starting to like arrive on the scene. Um, the little eight boys. <laughs> yeah, as they turn. And then Mason, you hear a familiar as you turn oh, and you no. see another war droid that is just... <laughs> coming behind you. As you all turn see that, you just continue just running down the hallway. Yeah. So I'm very familiar with this ship. Mm-hmm. 
I would like to close as many bulkheads as possible. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm not going to make you roll. I'm not going to make you roll yes. any of this. Because there's no... <sighs> God. There is no point. Yeah, there's a lot. I got a lot Yeah, on you're, that just, you're just running. And as you go, you're just reaching up. Whew, slam. Run. Me, me looking for them alone with yeah. my yeah, just sort of bonus to whoosh, whoosh, Slam. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> after a, after a moment, the others start kind of catching on to what you're doing, and as you're as you're rushing, you're like pointing them out and taking it in turns to close these doors behind you. Um, as she's doing it, she's talking out loud, mm-hmm. like like doing, and like informing um, Alma and Sedona where we're at, and then also um, uh, Beans to Becker, and running while yeah. we're. You got nothing. No response there. As you just keep going, you're just running down the hallway. Eventually. Uh, she's gonna. I think. Well, Alma. I'm I'm here. What's going on? Everybody. Is there any way you can locate Becker Becker's terminal? I I've been trying, but I I can't find anything. Are where are you? Everybody's back already. I'm giving. I'll give her. We're in the the uh, top top level. Uh, on our way down to the whatever. Yeah, she yeah, you <laughs> hear you going. hear Zaya's yeah. voice say move, and she just says, and then she says, listen. You don't have a lot of time. You're not going to make it to the extraction zone. There are multiple security teams closing on your location. Little faith you have. <laughs> have you heard from Becker? <laughs> just, you haven't? Um, no. At that point, Alma says, uh, you hear Alma's voice again saying, look, Sedona found a, an, an airlock closer to your location. I'm going to try to get to it. Um, here. And she says, I'm beaming the coordinates to you right now. Um, you see them pop up, and it's just a few turns away. She's gonna kind of get everyone's attention, and <laughs> whoever's up in front is probably Jade and uh, yeah. the sister. So yeah. just she'll kind of get their attention. And Jade, Jade, oh right! <laughs> yeah, they they just they just without even like hesitating, they turn. Um, um, how many people is in our group right now? Right now it so is many. <laughs> the four of you, Abriel, uh, so Abriel's people. sister, and Jade currently. Uh, that's a lot. Okay, wait, hold on. Um. If I want to use temporal acceleration on everyone, um, <laughs> <laughs> how many point, how many intellect points would I have to use? That is an expensive spend, I think, because normally you can affect one person with that, right? Yeah. <sighs> I, I, you know what? Can are you gonna? Sorry, you, I don't want to interrupt you if you're in the middle of something. I don't know if you're actually doing it. No, it just depends like how much it is, because I don't have that many intellect points left. Yeah, so, yeah. it's but, gonna be pretty right. expensive. What's the normal cost of that of that ability? Five. Five. Oh, oh, absolutely not. You don't no. have that. That will probably put you into like the uh, the debilitated. Hospital. Yeah, that will put you into the debilitated condition. <laughs> That's you don't have. Oh, the... it. Okay. 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 Here's what I would like to attempt to do. I am new to this ship. This isn't a ship I've mm-hmm. ever been in before. I've done a lot of research on it. I would like to improvise. Mm-hmm. Use my uh, improvisability to try to get us down, like to cut a corner, to get us down into some maintenance shafts, to like uh, to cut us halfway through. If I can find, if there are any like standing tunnels that aren't fully the crawl spaces, that like that'll cut it, like cut in half sure. uh, a, a giant block of whatever. But I would like to to navigate. I would like to improvise to get through this ship. Okay. If you will allow me to just to cut some time, will if that's possible. Yeah, you can say no if you're no, like. No, no, no. That, that makes that makes sense to me, and I'm not sure that this is. I'm not sure I'm gonna need to make this a roll for any reason, um, okay. because I think it would be enough that you spent your time like actually studying the ship ahead of time. Okay. Um. So yeah, I think I think yeah, you'll. You uh, you turn and in a moment you realize that you're not gonna make it. Uh, as you can see, like on in addition to the location of the of the change in in extraction zone, you're you were also sent like some of the uh, some of the locations and positions of the security teams that are closing, and you realize mm-hmm. that even with the change in location, you're not gonna make it. And as you turn, you just you thinking quickly, you go ah right here. Jade 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 on the comms. Mm-hmm. Uh, maintenance hatch 34C. It should be on your right up head. Just go. Just go that way. <laughs> I okay. think I think can get us there faster. Uh, he turns and uh, as you as you kind of turn the same corner, you can see as he's currently in the process of yanking the the hatch open. Um, he says, "Uh, this one." It'll get us there. Okay. Just go. It's just gonna. <laughs> yeah. uh, you, <laughs> Assuming we've all caught yeah, up. Yeah. You all just pile yeah. into yeah. the into the thing. Uh, who's last in out of curiosity? Maybe Bina. <laughs> okay. Sure. So Bina, yeah, as you're okay. like 
push like sort of she was she was last with peach i yeah. would assume and she would probably put right. peach sort in of before she pushing everybody in. ahead yeah. of you you turn just in time to see like a few security teams come around the corner and say hey stop as you just nope. like <laughs> slide down yeah nope. she slides in i would like to get it in and i'm is there like a any sort of physical mechanism to it in which I can break? Oh yeah, or absolutely. that's what I was gonna say. You, from the inside. you could break it easily. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna break it. Yeah. You. <laughs> she goes sorry and like snaps it. Yeah, apologizing to the ship. <laughs> Always. Yeah, you reach up, you just you grab a couple. You like, oh, pull off the panel, grab a couple wires and just hit them together, and you watch as the lock just fuses, just <laughs> sparks in, into the hallway into the maintenance corridor. Then she scrolls backwards and starts uh, running yeah. after everyone and shouting like, they're right, they're right, they're right. All right. So, <laughs> if we miss any of these, we're not going to make it. Um, <laughs> yeah, as you as you go, um, you hear Alma's voice saying, you, yeah, in, the, in, the, in the comms, just says, uh, okay, we're here. You're, you're cutting it close. Not this time. Um, not anymore. <laughs> yeah, you run. And as you, you skid to a halt, uh, you can see as... Uh, you're just sort of like you're you're counting like the the different hatches. You're like uh, three, four, five. That one, and you you reach there. Jade is like Jade starts like sh- slamming his his shoulder against it as he's like moving it. Um, Can we get it open? Yeah, it's open. You, okay. you as the two, like, I would say Mason is able to catch up, and the two of them between the two of them are able to push it open. Um, it, yeah, it with everything else with everything kind of shut down and the like the the uh, maintenance lockdown enacted this is all manual right now so it's just being like there's yeah. no mm-hmm. mechanical assist here you're just pushing this thing open Lena knows all the tricks she knows how to sweet talk the yeah. doors <laughs> you all pile out um, and glancing to one side you can see where the airlock is um, rushing for it you you reach it We're here just as uh, as another door down the down the hallway opens and you can see an, a war droid that just <laughs> oh. In we go, in we go, all yeah. four arms pushing um, <laughs> And you dart inside just as you can see like the, the a barrage of bolts just sort of flying down down the hallway outside as the airlock door, just the interior airlock door seals shut with a clunk. Um as you're standing there, um Alma says, Okay, one second. This is this is give me just There's a wardrobe, just do as fast as you can. I'm doing my best. I know just, you are. Uh, and then all of a sudden, you you see like the the red uh, air, the red lock indicator on it just sort of flicker for a moment, and then just clicks green, uh, and the airlock door just slides open. You all get like just like an instant pressure headache since the depressurization sequence did not complete or go yeah. through at all. Oh. Uh, so it's just like an immediate pressure I headache. Think I just like very reactively grab the closest people next to me because. Yeah. <laughs> just in, after experience. And yeah. That, Traumatized? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just sort of. Um, but as you find yourself rushing through, um, you can hear the... <laughs> and Bina looking back, you can see through the through the, the, uh, the little viewport in, t- like in the interior airlock door, the war droid. You can see its, its optical sensor that is like now in the viewport staring at you, taking up the entirety of the whole thing. As you see, as it re- reels back, and just... Boom! Slams the door, and this time it It'll dents. Hold, but not for long. Yeah, this time it Let's dents go. inwards <laughs> as you all rush onto the uh, onto the docking corridor, rushing across it and stepping inside, where you see Zaya. Like <laughs> Zaya has uh, two um, a, two rifles, like cross strapped over her chest, like yes. one handing each of them, just standing in the in the entryway. She says, "Go, go, go!" Um, as you're all rushing into the into Awakener. Um, she backs up, and you see, just as you see the door give a little bit more under the under the barrage that the uh, war droid is giving it, she sl- on board, yeah, on she board. slams the uh, the airlock door, which just she slams oh, goes shut place. at the exact moment that Alma Ooh. decouples the the couple's <gasps> awakener, and you just flying off away from this ship. I think Taeon looks everyone. We did it. And then just passes out. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So um, we're going to jump a little bit of time here for our last scene. Not long, maybe just like a matter of 
about an hour or so as everybody kind of get, comes back together. Um, the, uh, the ensuing hour consists largely of a lot of people just sort of passing out, helping each other to, uh, to seats. The entirety of the hold is crowded with probably about a hundred people. Um, not the hold. It's not all in the hold. Some of them spilling out into other parts of the ship. Um, strangers to Awakener. Um, you can see um, as you're walking through all of this, Mason, looking looking around at the aftermath, you can see as uh, Abriel is just on her knees on the floor with her arms just fully around around her sister, cradling her head to her to her chest, um, and just saying a bunch of things mostly nonsense it just it sounds like she's not really paying attention to any things that she's that are coming out of her mouth anymore she's just saying and you can feel like you can see her sister just sort of patting her her arm that's around her chest just saying i'm fine it's fine i'm fine big, big emotions from that end mm-hmm. of the, end of the stage. yeah <laughs> the the others varying stages of confusion and um alarm although most of that alarm is being held in check for the time being given that none of them really have any clear understanding of what happened of what just happened um but they know that they are on a strange ship flying somewhere um all of this i think if that were the case then Bina would probably be just talking to people sure. yeah, yeah i was i was gonna say that a peach would definitely be busying herself talking <laughs> yeah. to all of these so, people and like kind of still helping in good them tradition, out so i was like yeah. she's gonna be like and she has too oh peach so isn't much, but she would be doing i know it. i know that's what i'm saying like <laughs> yeah. but Bina still has so much nervous energy i think she's gonna funnel that into talking to people and trying to answer yeah. questions she's mm-hmm. probably talking way too fast but like <laughs> she's doing her best <laughs> to like answer questions because she knows how confusing this was when they yeah. first woke up um you uh you um, proceed doing all of this. At one point, uh, Alma is just uh, there in the hold. You didn't see her get there because um, you were so focused on talking everybody down. Yeah. And she just looks around, sees you, Bina, and just like beelines directly for you. And she just like gives you a huge hug. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think it probably, she probably comes mm-hmm. from like, like the side. I think I feel her at the second and immediately just whirl and like all mm-hmm. four, four arms. I know what's coming. Yeah. And she just like pulls away and looks at you and just says, she says, you cut that so close. I did great. Just, and so did you. And, but you do, you and it's so, fine. And she's like, <laughs> she uh, why do you have to be so uh, you all the time? Uh, I can't oh. be anybody else. <laughs> I don't know how. And she'll kind of let her go. Yeah. She pulls away and then just starts kind of looking around and just... The whole thing just kind of evolves into a blur after that point as everybody's just sort of letting exhaustion sink in and, like, taking them over. Um, about an hour later, after people have sort of gotten settled, um, uh, Bina, you you are looking around the hold um, as a lot of the initial chaos of all in the aftermath has sort of died down. As you look over, you can see Jade just sort of sitting by himself near the airlock. Um, as he's just sort of sitting on the crates, just kind of looking around, watching the other people. I want to go sit with him. Yeah. Um, he looks up at you and just, he just shakes his head. He says, I don't know where they came from. I mean, they, they were just kind of there. <laughs> um, Becker stopped him from getting me pretty quick. Um, I heard a lot of blaster fire and then... I mean, he took a few of them through a portal and out back out into the hallway, and I heard the fire, and that's where I that's when I contacted you. But then it all stopped. I don't know what happened to him. I don't know if he got away from them or. Hope. Oh. And she's gonna just be like, "You did so good," and she's gonna <laughs> she's gonna give him a big hug, kind of like put her head on his shoulder. Mm-hmm. You can feel How's he feeling right now? His emotions are pretty subdued at the moment. <laughs> like, yeah. um, mm-hmm. as he just sort of... Yeah, she'll kind of, like, hug for a second, and then she'll kind of just, like, mm-hmm. drape just one arm one arm around him, yeah. just kind of sit with him for a while. He, um, he sits there for a moment and just says, I think I need to 
rest. Um, he stands up and sort of gives you a, a weak smile and just nods and then uh, walks in. Just let me let me know if you need anything. He nods. And says, "Yeah, sure." Um, he walks kind of in the direction of his quarters. Um, as he's leaving, he passes Sedona, um, who looks at him and just they don't they don't exchange they don't have any sort of exchanges the two of them just sort of look at each other and jade just head his head kind of hangs and he just keeps walking um sedona just watches him pass and you see as she just there's sort of an unreadable expression on her face but you can just feel this you can feel the wave of sadness from her as she sits down on a crate and just her head just kind of hangs her head um <laughs> this whole time in the aftermath after finding out what happened Zaya is the least concerned out of anybody and she's just says now he's gotten out of worse situations well it'll be fine he'll be fine and if he's not well then he knows I'll kick his ass so <sighs> it'll be okay he'll be fine he knows how, he knows how to take care of himself um And all that, you eventually get the signal from Alma that uh, that um, after this is sort of this would be after making your way through the conduit and away from here, um, Alma has made the jump with Sulon locked in as the coordinates. Um, oh, have we called wire? Okay, we should do that too, probably. <sighs> I mean, I'm probably just talking to herself in the hold. <laughs> just like, fine, this, everyone's cleared out. She's just like, oh, we should do that. Okay, we should do that. Like, yeah. <laughs> I think I pro Peach probably would have called. Okay. Uh, after, like, after talking to people and, and seeing that you're kind of fielding that, after talking to some folks, I would I probably would have gone to update Wire. Okay. Um, yeah, you pull her up, and she is uh, very intently, once again, standing uh in front of the in front of the the capture device just sort of looking at you saying did you do it what's the news we got all of the people out um and everybody all of those everybody's okay well we haven't heard from becker yet he could still be on the ship but everybody else we've we've gotten off hopefully zaya said that he can take care of himself, so hopefully he finds an escape pod or something. I mean, we did. He has... He has his skills. All in all, I'd call this a win. Yeah, there... There is one pretty big concern. Um, you know, the mimic we've been dealing with. Right. I haven't turned up anything on him yet. I'm still looking, but... So, he killed Entropis right in front of us. He... I assume that he took his power, but he said that it wasn't... Entropis was a pawn. He was, he was being controlled by, I assume, Silverbreak, but it, it seemed like there was a a goal that was that they were misaligned. They were working for two separate separate entities. So that's something that's a concern with this mimic gaming gaining more and more powers. Okay, I'll um, I'll see if I can dig up anything on any. Man, this just keeps getting better, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay. Anything else? I think that I think that's pretty much it. Okay. Um, let um, Bina or whoever know that um, when you come back to Sulan, just make straight for my warehouse. Um, I I've been prepping it, and I can put up the 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 rescued people there for at least a little while until I can set up something to move them. Okay. 
we'll head over to you. Um, thanks for all the all the help on this. It went badly, but it went okay. Thank you. You 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 were able to correct my mistake. Well, let's not count our victories yet. Okay, see you soon. See you soon. And um, <laughs> in a very out of character fashion, the conversation is kept very short. <laughs> Ended and, by Peach uh, first for the first time. <laughs> yes, yeah. I, uh, I think if Wire was a little more perceptive, she would definitely have picked up something was wrong. Wire's not really a people person, so. <laughs> yeah, so. Um, yeah. All right. And I'm going to go and pace around the ship. Okay. Um, ah, pulling a Mason. <laughs> <laughs> speaking of Mason, uh, Mason, you and Taeon are currently um, sitting in uh, sort of an out-of-the-way spot in the hold. Most of the comfortable locations taken up by your uh, your newly rescued charges. Um, as you're both just kind of s- sitting there, kind of recovering from that the ordeal, uh, even this long later, um, you... Uh, kind of both lost in thought. Um, Taeon, it occurs to you at this moment that things happened the way they were supposed to, the way they happened the first time. That was uh, quite a fight. You have no idea. <sighs> yeah. Wait, why? <laughs> Remember oh, that diagram get... of time? I, yeah, I, do I have I to get the yeah. bottle? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, I saw you guys die. Um, like a vision, or I I wish. No, um, we had that standoff with Antropis. Um, I'm still not entirely sure how she does it, but Peach kept Antropis in place for a bit, but not for long enough. And he decayed the side of the ship, and we all got jettisoned out into space. I, I thought that was it, but I don't know how, but I managed to give us a second chance, and it worked out. Um, and then just like leans back. <sighs> that one, I'll admit, <sighs> you guys need to be careful. Um, After this, I'm I don't know how, but I'm trying to try and figure out figure out a way to get back home. So you're not gonna get another chance if anything like that happens. Um, be careful of that the one that killed Entropis. He's Entropis is a lot of things, but he isn't careless the fact that he got the drop on him at least to me shows he is very dangerous yeah his power is very dangerous he could he can copy stuff right yeah 
I'm mean, of character. Powers. Yeah. Of character. Do I know? Have I heard of anyone in the past or in my presence that could copy powers? You have heard of somebody, um, but n you, or rather, you've heard of the ability existing. Okay. You, you, yeah, it, I... it's, it's, it was a cataloged ability, some, somebody that, something that somebody had. You don't know much more than that, is what I would say. Yeah. There were a few missions where we were trying to get info on the super, the supers that have been made or been found. Um, during the same mission that we found out about Alma, we heard about a little, we saw a little bit about someone who could copy powers. I wish I could tell you more than that, but they realized we were snooping through their files and kind of shredded everything. So we couldn't. But for one, the fact that then then the same file as armor again probably proves how important they they are to Silver Break and probably just how powerful they are as well. I will say though, in both timelines, you kicked us. So I guess that's a that's a bright side. Oh, I, I cannot get over it. You saw us die. We're about to. <sighs> sorry. I'm sorry I let it happen the first time. No need. I'm gonna point at this um, basic drink. Can I? I pull a couple of glasses and I pour off some to both of us. Um, you sure? Don't tell Patch. Um, <laughs> he tell us all. will be very upset. Um, as the two of you stand there, kind of, or sit there, sh sort of sharing a drink. Um, Olam wanders over and he says he looks at you Tan and he says well uh, thank you for helping us it looks like we did it so does, yeah. does that mean that things are fixed for you I hope so <laughs> well I'm I don't I might travel through time but I don't really understand it and I'm pretty sure I wasn't here the first time around. So might be small changes, but hopefully nothing major. Well, I've been working on something ever since you, you uh, arrived and said that I was the reason that you arrived at a diff later and also not where you wanted to be. Uh, and I ha I was thinking about how to maybe send you back and I think I might have an idea I mean it's all all I've done is just simulations I've just done the math really but the math checks out and uh, <laughs> I I might be able to send you back or maybe we can send you back you and and me. I mean, we're yeah. working together. I mean, because well, you, you, you understand. Yeah, I, I understand. Well, yeah. What's your, what's your idea? Well, I was thinking that, I mean, it's, it's. There really is a lot of math, but mostly, I think that I can maybe. I mean, create a bubble of gravity around you that will slow down. Uh, your m your uh, well it'll slow down time around you but you'll still be going at the same uh, speed through time so really it's in a way it's kind of accelerating you through time but I don't have that ability so you're <sighs> okay I'm going to create a gravity bubble around you and then you can use your ability to push that bubble maybe yeah okay 
Um, I have no clue if it will work, but it's worth a try. Yeah. There's there's a small, tiny thing is I, I don't know how to... I wouldn't even know how to... I wouldn't know how to make you stop. So I don't know when I would be sending you to, if... Uh, or when, when we would be sending you to, and I haven't really figured out a way to aim this yet. Um, and you just hear at that moment, you just hear, <clears throat> um, I might actually be able to help with that. And you turn and you both see Sedona, who has been listening in this whole time. Wow, it's really hard to say that I'm at a private course. I'm joking. <laughs> you can help. I, I might be able to, I mean, I, maybe give you a target. I mean, I, I can see it. I can see all the, I mean, I can see all the different possibilities. Maybe if I focus hard enough on the one that you want, maybe that can help and I maybe I can steer. Please. And I, I really need to see my can't say again. Olin goes, oh, you, you mean now? You want to go now? Oh, uh, I, yeah. I mean, can we, can we do it now? We, yeah, I mean, I could try it. I, like I said, I really, I really did do a lot of math. Like a lot of math. I trust you. Okay. Uh, I guess I should, let me go get all of those calculations and um uh the the observation deck how about the observation deck i can moment. okay yeah yeah okay this will this will work and he just uh <laughs> wanders off uh toward in the direction of uh, of his quarters um if it's okay with all of you because i want to try to i'm trying to get us to sort of wrapping up here uh i'm gonna go ahead and have us cut to uh a little bit later as you're all um, in the observation room, all of you, um, Alma and uh, Zaya uh, and Patch are all uh, gathered there um, in the room as well. Um, as Olam has projected his um, <laughs> math. his math scribblings <laughs> on the various screens, just uh, like nodding, like looks good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, and he says, again, like I said, I mean, I re I did all these calculations, but this is really very theoretical. There's no way, there's no precedent for any of this. So I... I jumped through time without realizing it. You had math at least to back what you're doing. So I'm fine with taking this risk. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> I'm sure the math is great, Olam. I'm sure it's, I'm sure it's solid. Yeah. Um... Uh... <laughs> And, uh, yeah, you find yourself standing, standing there completely your environmental suit once again, all like uh, on your entire body, except for your, the helmet is still not fully, uh, yeah. up as you look around. It is going to go up and hold out, um, both of her <laughs> both hands and ought to shake them. Uh, and then it's going to like fully into a uh, I was going to do the exact like... same thing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and she's going to hold you up and be like, see you in uh, 25 or so years. Fingers crossed. Yeah. All four. <laughs> All four sets. <laughs> it was honestly great actually meeting you guys. Hopefully, so much happened. I haven't been able to. Yes, actually, you kind of <laughs> surpassed them. Um, I don't know if you know this timeline. Um, you're very close to becoming light. Did you? Never mind. Wrong. I was going to turn to Mason. Oh, it's oh, <laughs> your turn. Oh. <laughs> Hopefully, don't forget me. I guess. Try my hardest. <laughs> we'll see you soon. Hopefully, it'll be soon. 25 years for you, hopefully soon for me, though. Pan, I hope, I hope the future is exactly how you want it to be. I hope so, too. 
Thanks for saving our lives back there. Uh, thanks for saving mine. <laughs> oh, I guess I'm ready. Right. Okay. We'll miss. We'll we'll really miss you on the ship. I miss you guys. Oh God, Ada's not going to believe it when I tell her. Tell her we say hi. Oh. Jaden, Jason, Jade. <laughs> he looks up. And says, yeah. Watch out for next week's episode of Nurse What. It's a it's a banger. Trust me. I will. Um, and he yeah. he walks oh, over sorry. and just sort of very like kind of awkwardly gives you a hug. Yeah, he gives him a mm -hmm. big old hug right back. Yeah. Uh, he steps away. <sighs> Olam just nods. Says, okay. Uh, here we go, I guess. Wait, Taeon, can you carry something back with you? A small, small item? I should be able to, I don't see why not. Okay. Um, and I don't, I don't know if this would last permanently. It might just last for an hour. I don't know how that would work with his ability, mm. if it would be in a suspended state, but I just want to make a little solid dream craft picture, um, that's framed of all of us, like the whole crew. <laughs> Um, like as we are currently, um, and with Taeon, I'm, I'm gonna, uh, yeah, well, with Taeon, yeah, it's, I mean, it's not a picture we've actually taken, it's yeah. one that I'm just imagining, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, and it's, it's, um, completely signed with all of our signatures, <laughs> but I have no idea what people's actual signatures are, so I'm, I'm That's literally all just handwriting. That's all <laughs> I like to think that like she's created like what she expects people's handwritings to yeah. be. So Olin's is like that. messy. Venus is like very like quick and neat. Like, like <laughs> so um, and and just kind of hand it over to Taeon. Um, All right. Tell you what. I don't know if this will carry along. I'll tell you what, but... Peach. Uh, if if you want to spend an XP, I'll make I'll allow it to be permanent. Can I spend an XP yeah, for this? Because yep. I want this. <laughs> yeah, you can absolutely do that. <laughs> yeah, I'll spend that. All right. Cool. Um, so, uh, you take this and looking at it, you see a group photo of you as if you had all just stood in this very room together, just sort of arms around each other, uh, smiling for the non-existent camera. Um, as in twenty in twenty five years, if I see this at a pawn shop, I'm gonna be really mad. <laughs> just saying. Trust me, this is hanging on my wall in the villa. Hopefully. <laughs> All right. Olam says, okay, I can do this. I mean, you can do this. I mean, we can do this. I mean, this is fine. And he just... <laughs> you got this. Um, Olam begins projecting around you, and you watch around you, uh, Taeon, you see essentially what looks like the light around you starting to distort uh, in the gravitational pull of this anomaly that Olam is creating. Um to the point where eventually all you can see is contained inside of this bubble of gravity. Um, the the walls of it go from just sort of uh, like that like the blender effect in like uh, in like a video, in yeah. photo editing like it's like the blender effect kind of distortion, and then it all just goes black outside of that, just sort of almost like space but without stars, just sort of completely black as the light isn't even able to just penetrate isn't able to penetrate the anomaly all you can see is yourself in the immediate area around you inside the anomaly um you feel as everything it's a little odd like the the bubble is not affecting you with gravity it's affecting everything around you just sort of encasing you uh in this uh this dense bubble that uh basically is currently as it sits is warping the very fabric of space time around it um and as soon as you feel that um you don't know if sedona is doing her thing really you can only just assume because you have no way of of knowing that from here because right now you are effectively in like an isolation chamber <laughs> essentially um you can see nothing and hear nothing outside of here. Um, and as you focus the same way that you did when floating in the vacuum of space, you concentrate and though nobody sees it, you 
can see that sort of aurora starting to uh, waft around you. But as it does, this time it starts reaching out and being pulled by the anomaly, being pulled into it, until suddenly it looks like these tendrils of multicolored light are connecting you to it um, until you are awash in a glow of colors. Looking ahead, you sort of focus. You focus on that time. And to the rest of you outside, you can see both Olam and Sedona focusing, concentrating intently on this, uh, on this bubble. And from it, from your perspective outside, you almost see sort of a prismatic effect on the outside as light just starts bending and refracting wildly out from it um, until looking almost, almost like a black hole in the like a like a singularity is right there in the center of the of the observation deck watching as the light the sort of aurora like light uh begins to spread out around it and orbit it like an accretion disk um as very suddenly there is almost like a tunnel effect of that light that it creates and this spherical anomaly just starts moving first slowly through that tunnel and gradually picking up speed. Um, Group Awakener, you're going to do amazing things. And with that, you watch as it just sort of slowly starts to accelerate, 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 and then just, just whoop, gone. And looking out of the windows of the observation room, you could just see this little blip, this flash of light in the distance. Um, carrying us to our final scene of the evening. Um, Taeon. Oh shit! Okay. <laughs> Final scene yes. of the evening, Taeon. You open your eyes. You at first, it's difficult to really fully grasp what it is you're looking at. It seems like just a blur <laughs> of color. You kind of blink a little bit. And you blink again. And after a moment, it starts to occur to you that what you're seeing is, well, it looks like sky. Um, as you're looking up, you can hear around you the sounds of, um, of birds chirping um, you can hear the sound of wind rustling plants as you blink a little bit things become into sharper focus as you look up and you notice that that dark blur at the edge of your vision it's not a dark blur it's a building um, reaching up for the sky um, you sit up and you look around where you're sitting you you recognize this place why do you recognize this place? And as you're looking at it, it, you start blinking and again, clearing the last of the blur out of your vision. And it starts to click into place. That building is, that's home. No, it's, a, it's work. No, it's both. It's, it's a base, resistance base. And it all, suddenly the memories start flooding back to you. It all comes back. As you see your the resistance base, and you are currently sitting in the courtyard outside, the gardens that are tended by by one of the resistance fighters, who insisted on having it in spite of the fact that it served no tactical purpose, um, you start pulling yourself to your feet and looking around, uh, and you hear you hear a voice calling to you from a distance as you look over around, and looking in the direction of the of the base you see a small figure standing outside of the base, um, arms waving, uh, wings out. You can see the antenna sort of, uh, even from this distance, her antenna are twitching like they always do when she's, when she's uh, <laughs> feeling mm, impatient. Uh, as she's looking in your direction, you see the arms waving like this. I'm on my... 
God, Ada, I love you. And I'm just gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna try and fast it. I'm just diving into a tackle hug. <laughs> yeah. So our final scene of the evening is from the perspective of where of where Taeon was standing, looking past him to that small figure in the background. He's just suddenly not there. And suddenly, in the distance, there are two figures embracing. And that's where we will call it for tonight. The reunion, <sighs> thank God. <laughs> I was not expecting we'd get to see that, and I'm so happy. Me neither. I was hoping we would. I was so hoping we would. I'm so glad. <laughs> Needed a win. All right. Oh, thank you, was... Drac, for such a lovely story and lovely character. Oh gosh. Uh, oh, thank you guys for having me. That was. I'm trying not to cry. I'm I know. <laughs> Tears in my eyes. Yeah. I will echo what Olivia said before uh, before we even went live tonight, which is it's going to be very weird not having you here, and I, I'm, <laughs> I personally am going to miss having you. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, wibbly wobbly time runs <laughs> all the time. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Um, all right, everybody. Um, we are gonna go. Before we do, um, don't forget that there is. Uh, we're planning for our interim. We are planning to have sort of a uh, a season recap uh, of season one with hopefully edited over some of your currently existing fan art submissions um the uh da, 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 the command is somewhere i'll it's just art it real. is art real uh there you go ah, cool. i finally allowed to use there commands. you go <laughs> yeah so if you have fan art that you would like to submit for that um go ahead and the link that is there is to a google form um you can go ahead and do that um we We'll continue with Ramblemancy this week, all this on Friday. Uh, TBD as to its uh, topic. We will get there when we get there. Um, keep an eye on the socials. <laughs> um, Drac, once again, thank you so much for being here. Yeah. Thank you so much for joining us for these last few weeks. It has been excellent having you. We'll get it's you back at the table awesome again sometime. Such an amazing Grab me guest. Anytime. <laughs> um, tell our fine folks in chat where they can find you. Yes. So that. Oh, okay. Yeah. So that even though um, you are leaving us, they don't have to leave you. Yeah. Um, you can find me mainly over at um, Friends Who Roll Dice on Twitch. Um, I'm a co-founder of um, that Twitch channel. We just play games. Um, <laughs> this, no, not this one. This is not Saturday. Next Saturday, on the 22nd of August, um, we're actually doing a charity stream. 10 hour, seems like it's going to be more, to be honest. 10 hour charity stream um, to raise money for um, Lebanon, Lebanese Red Cross to help the people of um, Beirut and just the rest of Lebanon who are affected by that horrifying explosion that happened just over a week ago. Um, you can find me also find me on just on Mondays um, every every Monday on Friends Who Dice playing a Yuanti Pirate Warlock um, at 6 p.m. PBT. Soon you'll be able to find me there as well on Wednesdays at 5:30 PBT playing a vampire. As we make, because we're going to be having a Monster Hearts campaign um, <gasps> mid September. That sounds rad. Um, what else? Also, happening on the twenty second, I'm going to be on um, Valgerant's, um Twitch channel playing Emberwind, where uh, it's it's going to be very fun. I've never played Emberwind before. It's a whole new system. It's going to be. I just want to say that I'm part of a very gay couple, and it's, I love it. They're, they're cute, it's adorable. <laughs> um, um, there are other stuff. I mean. I play Jaden lot, which is why I said Jaden instead of Jaden. <laughs> I play Jaden lot in a uh, actual play podcast called Super Idols RPG, where I play Magical Idol Boy. Um, my my debut episode came out, I think, like a couple of weeks ago. So if you want to check that out, please do. And there's other stuff I've got planned, but I can't remember them. So follow me <laughs> on Twitter because I'm most likely to tweet about them. So you can see my Twitter down there. And in case you can't, my Twitter handle is Deep Dra Draconic. So D-R-A-K-O-N-I-Q-U-E-S. Yeah, sorry, I took so long. <laughs> no, that's all right. No, it's great. We want you to promise. Absolutely. Yourself. So uh, go give, uh, if you haven't already, go give Drac a follow. Go give Friends Who Roll Dice a follow. Um, and I think with that, we will see you the next time you decide to come roll with us. Good night and good zone, everybody. Bye.